Let's go, family. You already know what time that it is. And shout out to everybody up in the building. Yeah, I'm going to give y'all a few seconds, man, before that I even start. I usually start at a good 20 minutes, but I think I'm going to be starting at a good damn five minutes this morning because we're going to get it going because uh, I have several other videos. I may be streaming them later. I don't know. But I have told y'all in prior times that I was going to give y'all somewhat of like a brief explanation with things that you've heard me speak on all the way to Yogi Budgen, uh, Mike Brown, uh, various cult influence and somewhat of the backstory, you know, a 60 nature boy and how things got to be the way that they are now. But the most important thing of all, I think that we're going to get into is about cults. And the reason why we're going to get into cults, I could have produced this information a little earlier, but I said, nah, I just want to see other people squirm. <laughs> I want to see other people squirm, but any day where, yeah, because we actually have the audio proof of Nature Boy when he stated that he was, in fact, a cult leader. Okay. Now, we could have been produced this information, but now, nah, like I said, I just wanted to see how things was going to go and how long that they would push that narrative in reference to him not being a damn cult leader when he already stated it out of his mouth prior to now. Oh, yeah, it's going down, family. I got a, I got this right here is one of them live streams, man, where you where you turn the TV on and you put it on the TV. You That's what you do with this shit right here, because you definitely don't want to miss it. And if you're on a phone right now, whether you're at work, riding or whatever, you know, hopefully you can, you know, glance from time to time because we're going to definitely make it make sense over here because it's done been a lot of false information that's done been put out. But what I'm going to make an attempt to do by way of receipts is to pinpoint it, okay? Yeah, Because you done heard a lot of stuff from Kundalini Yoga to Kriya Yoga to yoga in general. And we're going to get down to that too. So this is, in fact, a powerful live stream. We passed the five-minute mark, man. So I'm about to go ahead and push go. No link sent, no nothing. You here, you here. If you not, you not. You late, you late. Check the replay. Let's go, man. See if I hear. This is somewhat of a full explanation of a cult, which in fact is a group that's typically led by a charismatic and a self-appointed leader who tightly controls his members, like Nature Boy's stupid ass, because that's what he was doing. He was controlling the ass, which in fact requires unwavering devotion, which I think, you know, what carbonation they was devoted to the knowledge and the stuff that Nature Boy was saying, which in fact is a set of beliefs and practices which are considered deviant outside of the norms of society. I think it's interesting that we pay a closer look at cult influence and how cults are able to inspire, you know, individuals to leave their families, to leave their homes, and simply to be a part of an organized group whose purpose is to dominate cult members through psychological manipulation and pressure strategies. Cults are usually headed by a powerful leader who isolate members from the rest of society. Some individuals who join cults remain lifelong members. Others, they break free and share how it felt to be brainwashed by a charismatic leader. But there are also some individuals who leave a cult and report that their experience was positive. Now you see this, others break free and share how it felt to be brainwashed. So motherfuckers supposed to, at this time, they supposed to be free as a song, bitch, you hear me? They supposed to be on deck which is crazy, and they're supposed to share their experiences, meaning whatever the hell that they went through and, and however that the shit went down, that's what they're supposed to be talking about. But unfortunately, not, not everybody's able to do that. You know, a religion is regarded as an unorthodox or spurious is spurious, as they got them say, a great devotion to a person, idea, object, movement, or work, such as a film or a book. What's going on, man? Doing another video on a little couple messages that came through. I'm waiting for some of y'all to come in the room. As you know, 
I'm back in Ohio and um, it's crazy. I'm gonna let some of, some of y'all get in the room first and then um, we're gonna start this uh, build real quick on, uh, I'm out here in the rain in Ohio. But it was always something about the rain that always, you know, was cool with me, man. I, I like I like the rain. Crazy. What's up, Kerry? It's crazy how he was always one with the rain. He was cool with the rain and shit, but that motherfucker was never cool with bath water, shower water, you know, soap, body wash. What's up, Nikki? Bernadette, how you feeling? So yeah, like I said, I'm out here in Ohio and um, just doing this live stream because I had a uh, a lot of information I've been getting since I've been here. And um, it's just been amazing to me, the different feeling that I get that I get here from being in Georgia. So uh, little rain. What up, Logan? What up, Jay? Little rain. See, back then, um, he was saying, what up, Logan? He was saying, what up, Tron? See, Tron, he wanted to be down back in the day. What up, Jay? See? Little rain. Um, and today, I want to talk about something that's really, really, really important that I don't think I've addressed. But it's it's been in the background of my, my mind when I speak certain things. So I wanted to just address it for you guys. Um, okay. Now, what I wanted to say in this is basically the topic. Eat the, eat the sun, eat the earth. What does that mean? There's a lot of deficiencies going on in your body and your and your mind. And when I came from Atlanta, it's a lot of sun. It was a little warmer. But see, that's where we at today, you know, with this stuff and what it allegedly, you know, what, you know, as far as the dangers and the harm, you know, the harmful things that affect your body. That's one of the central things why people join cults thinking the cult leader or the leader in general has the answers or the resolve to whatever that their problem is. I mean, there's a lot of deficiencies going on in your body and your and your mind and. When I came from Atlanta, it's a lot of sun. It was a little warmer. I was living off just fruits, you know? And as I came up further away from the equator to Ohio, as you can even feel probably in this video, it's, it's like a, a lower vibration. As you see the trees in the background, it's a low vibration. It's not a lot of life going on here. As you say, but at the time, you know what you were doing and where you were at was here. This is where you was at. You was with your lover. You were standing right between these buildings right there, okay? And, you know, the funny thing about it, you know, at the time, you know, when Elysio, when he was making these videos, no one knew then at the time, you know, about his affiliation with Mike and what him and Mike had going on on this campus. It's people that's regarded, you know, Mike Brown, you know, as far as his re religious, you know, devotion and, you know, him being somewhat as a spokesman, you know, I would think for the congregation, you know, at Payne Seminary. And these are the apartments where Nature Boy was staying at. They've remodeled this area. 
So I don't know if it's just specifically people that go to this college or not that stays here, but they have made somewhat of some improvements here uh, within this neighborhood. And like I say, this is what Nature Boy, where he was staying with Mike Brown. And it's crazy because the videos, they hold the proof, okay? Despite whatever the hell that he could try to say, this is exactly where the hell that he was standing at. To Ohio, as you can even feel probably in this video, it's it's like a, a lower vibration. As you see the trees in the background, it's a low vibration. It's not a lot of life going on here. And so what I noticed is that I started, it's colder and I started to crave things I haven't craved in a long time, like a warm meal or maybe a potato or maybe something warm. So, but I haven't. I haven't. I, I actually just haven't ate anything while I've been here. I just haven't ate. I had a mango or, you know, just because I was feeling. And what I did was I connected to a lot of people in my mind, my reflection. And I realized that it's really, really tough for a lot of you guys. You know, me being in Georgia, at least there's like sun and a variety of fruit here in Ohio. It's like, what the fuck? You know, it's like, it's really a shift. Yeah, other than the relationship that you held with Mike Brown. Shift. And I felt weakness and temptation as I came here that I don't feel in Georgia. And I'm like, you poor guys living in Kansas and in the middle of the country, New York, all in the cold areas, Detroit, all of you guys, man, Oregon. And I really feel bad for you guys, you know, because it's really a disconnect the further you go away from the equator. I'm out here visiting uh, family. And there there is literally a drain of energy within myself that I feel here. It's like I'm disconnected a little bit, you know? And I have to sit with myself, meditate, and be with that feeling to understand completely. Now, look at this stupid motherfucker. With his goddamn human Dragon Ball Z nappy ass hair and shit. This is the leader. This is the person that inspires scores of people to leave their family. The same damn person that didn't know what the hell that he was going to do in life. When people joined him, joined his movement, listened to what the hell that he had to say. The whole time, I'm sure that they didn't know that him and Mike Brown was, in fact, in a relationship. But that's a cult for you. And as far as the cult leader, how cult leaders actually start, where they get their inspiration from, I can't even fucking tell you that. But what I can tell you is each and every person that has ever made an attempt to start or been a part of a cult, you a sick motherfucker. And that sickness of the mind, it'll make you do some crazy ass shit. It'll make you listen to a motherfucker like Nature Boy and the stuff that he was saying and the majority of the stuff that he was saying that he didn't even understand his damn self. It just goes to show, you know, how very impressionable, you know, beings, how did they find themselves in this state? Just like Nature Boy found his ass in the damn state of Ohio fucking with Mike Brown. Even in the fruit they have here is less chi, less life force in it, you know? And it's like, yo, because I'm so connected and so clean in the inside, I'm cleansed, I can feel things. He was clean in the inside at that time. I think that, you know, he was infested. I think that over the years, there were legions of disagreeable 
negative shaitan inspired energies that existed within this individual and i think that he then correlated that over within speech within thought to other individuals and they too became infected I don't know if you guys can even feel it in the video right now. I'm just kind of like, let it, I'm pausing a lot so you can kind of feel the energy. At the time when you uploaded this video, I felt then that you were as dumb as what the hell that you look. You got the crows. You, I know you guys are used to hearing my videos is like more vibrant with the other, you know, other birds like uh, you got crows over here in the background. It's like death, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it, it's a cycle in life, you know what I'm saying? It has to happen. We were, we were made to live away from the tropics, literally. Just to live here, you have to have tons and tons of oil to be pumping in to give you heat in these buildings. You have to artificially live here just to exist here. We have to artificially live here. We're forcing ourselves to live here by sucking and draining oils and natural minerals. I think, I think it's crazy, man. To be here. For for people who even listen to Nature Boy, I have to ask you, like, what the fuck was it that he said that even made you want to just to devote your time, your ear? How did you give away your time into this bullshit right here? I just want to fucking know. And we're forcing it. You know, it's unnatural. So we're creating mutations and all kind of chaos. Well, like a lot, if you like me, then you were born here. And you know, you need to, you have this connection if you're chosen. And then my messages are to the chosen, not for everyone. But the chosen understand this connection you have with the planet, right? I heard someone say uh, your soul, like the soul of your, your hands or the inner. You see the building in the background? As I told you, that's where he was at with Mike Brown at Payne Theological Seminary. Despite whatever the hell that he wanted to say or what he could say to this day. And I'm sure we won't get an official statement from Mike Brown as far as his affiliation with Elysio Bishop. But we know for a fact through dates and times, that's where the hell that he was at. And as you heard what he said in reference to being back in Atlanta, excuse me, being back in Ohio from Atlanta. So this would be, you know, after multiple times or one time before, but him going back to Ohio to be closer to Mike Brown. And I'm guessing then Mike Brown was waiting to get that check so he could give it to Nature Boy. And then he then could, you know, basically get a plane ticket along with other individuals. And then they could go to what they call the tropics, which is crazy. And I'm sure that there were people within the congregation that didn't know what the hell that Mike Brown was into. I'm sure that they didn't know. It's crazy how, how, how like people can say some of the most positive shit, but at the same damn time, you know, they'll have secrets. They'll have shit in the cut that they don't want to be revealed. Just like Mike Brown. With all of the stuff that Mike Brown said, and for years, him being connected and affiliated with Payne Theological Seminary, it's crazy how he, he said all this stuff about God and, you know, making an attempt to get people to join somewhat of the university, you know, the seminary. He said all of that stuff, which were things that were centered, connected, you know, around God. I don't know what his breakthrough was within all of this stuff. But one damn thing about it, Nature Boy was breaking through his motherfucking anal cavity. Nature Boy had his ass in a motherfucking cobra clutch. That's what he was doing to him and stuff. Same person right here. Greetings, alumni, students, and friends of Payne Theological Seminary. I hope you found this year's virtual homecoming to be a helpful experience. As an online institution, we constantly brainstorm ways to keep you connected to the school. It can be challenging because it's a departure from the traditional residential education environment we're used to. 
However, Payne is committed to keeping this institution vibrant. We will soon be moving into the late fall and then winter with the change of the leaves and the sometimes disruptive change in time. We also welcome family gatherings, the expectation of Advent and the familiar comforts of Christmas. We hope your experiences during this time are joyful. As some of you know, I was born on October 31st. So the fall is an especially poignant time for me because it feels like my birthday is the annual inaugural event of this period for me. And in reflecting upon this, I remember all the great gifts I received all year. Just by generosity. Them say that stuff, reflection. I wonder on whether or not if the inspiration that Nature Boy had to start this movement, if in fact that it came from Mike Brown. Bishop Frank Madison Reed III to Presiding Elder Green to Pastor Green to the clergy and other distinguished members of the 11th Episcopal District gathered here this evening. It is my pleasure to stand as the representative of Payne Theological Seminary to express to you. This is some wild shit right here. And this same person that was in a relationship with Nature Boy that pretty much funded the sex cult leader so that he could go to another country. This very secretive person to this day still hasn't been questioned what their connection is, which is weird very uncanny it was an oddity within itself for somebody affiliated with a church to be in a sexual relationship with a man who went on and then started a cult you got a question on whether or not if this was mike brown's intentions if he wanted to start the damn cult and what if the church within itself is nothing but a damn hustle for him being a part of this theological seminary college if this was some stuff that he did, which in fact was a front, it was a lie. But if that was something that he did, and when he met Nature Boy, he said, I'll continue to front this role. Although that he was in a homosexual marriage to begin with, but him fronting and playing like that, you know, him, you know, being devoted to God, him being a Christian, him being upright. What if all of this stuff was a front that he continued to maintain just so that there would not have been any connection with him and Elysio Bishop? Not only our gratitude for you allowing us to occupy your space, but also allow us to occupy and help transform your community. You know, one of the things that we do when we have these intenses is that there's always a theme and we try to make the theme rele relevant to what is happening in the church at the moment and so i think one of our most powerful ones Within was on gun violence that was we did in atlanta at Tur see there the gun violence that they did in atlanta now ain't that some shit uh i'm just saying though like this is crazy right here like what in the hell so so just think now if he met nature boy while being in atlanta you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just think about this shit for a bit. Uh, just think now, like, telling you this, this, this is some shit right here. And, and I ain't even gonna hold you when I'm telling you, man, that this dude done been a working preacher, you know, from the Luther Seminary for quite some damn time. Now, while all of this stuff wasn't exposed in the beginning, uh, I don't fucking know, but we know now for a fact how nature boy was funded now how long to him and michael joseph brown was in a relationship i don't know this quote unquote you know preacher and stuff or whatever the president he's a internationally recognized biblical scholar minister and public intellectual he received a bachelor of arts degree from vanderbilt university a master of divinity degree and doctor philosophy degree from the University of Chicago. Prior to joining Payne, Dr. Brown served as an associate 
dean of Wabash College, dean like Willoughby, and was the director of the Malcolm X Institute of Black Studies. Dr. Brown has authored four books, What They Don't Tell You, A Survivor's Guide to Academic Biblical Studies, Blackening of the Bible, The Aims of the African American Biblical Scholarship, The Lord's Prayer Through North African Eyes, A Window in the Early Christianity and the Lord's Prayer, and God's Vision for the World, Finding Your Purpose Through Prayer. In addition, he was a leading contributor to the New Interpreter's Dictionary of the Bible. So you see how much influence that Mike Brown, you know, actually had his impact with Christianity and North African eyes after hearing Nature Boy's dislike for Africa and how he cited not to go to Africa, but to simply go to the tropics, what he called areas of South America nature boy made it seem as if you know that that was the place to be ain't this shit funny how him and mike brown was you know pretty much telling two different stories just think about this stuff mike brown was talking about god and jesus and getting back in the church and nature boy was talking about loving yourself getting the hell away from the church and then going to the tropics a straight hustle that's all the hell that it is in the same way that nature boy congregated for years mike brown i'm sure he's been doing the exact same damn thing peep game with the peep game as you can see right here you know that this conference you know it good morning um, savannah georgia last night they were putting um bets on how brief i was going to be um, <laughs> as i get older I, I i believe more and more it's your boys boo ain't that some shit you saw the earth your feet I don't know if you can see my feet. I got these earthen shoes. If you can, guys, get some earthen shoes with carbon bottom. Because this is you, uh, get some earthen shoes. See, he was promoting the Babajis. His weird ass should have got a deal for promoting them as much as he talked about the shit. Carbon bottom. Because this gives you uh, a connection directly. If I can get you. These are earthen shoes. They're carbon bottoms. Okay? If you can see that, they got like carbon bottoms on. Okay. Look at that shit. If you Man, them club that. feet right there. You can't tell me them ain't club feet. <laughs> that shit is, them probably was the only shoes that he could fit at the damn time. With wise, because he wasn't rocking New Balance, you feel me? They got like carbon bottoms on. Okay. Get you some earthen shoes so you can have that connection of electrons. There's a movie on YouTube called uh grounded go check that out it'll give you an insight on how we connect directly grounded. to the planet all this information came from youtube with the soles of your feet when you step on the soil on the ground you are directly connected because your body is a conductor of electricity and the the earth holds an electricity currency it's crazy how people believe this stuff and as sad and unbelievable as the majority of the bullshit that you done heard Nature Boy say, he used this channel right here to be able to promote this nonsense. He used this channel right here to pretty much archive the confused statements that he made on video recordings that he put out on social media to be able to snare, to be able to entrap, to be able to captivate and to lure younger, impressionable individuals to them. And this was one of the most easiest ways for them to find information about the sex cult leader, really information about themselves as he would have wanted them to have believed. I'm just willing to believe that Nature Boy and Mike Brown, they sit down and they had a discussion about all of this before it even got to the point where it's at right now. I think he might have even inspired Elysio Bishop to take the plunge and then go to the tropic. Why did he stay within the country and continue to rock the rest of the world to sleep as if that he was a Christian, as if that he was a propagator of, of you know, a devoted lifestyle to God and God alone? Ain't that funny? Because the person that he slept with was then saying that he was God and had other people following him. You see how they both hustled the entire, you know, the entirety of the world as far as people that listened to them and to think Mike Brown, you know, wanted people, you know, to come to his 
paint in theological seminary and shit the same way our nature boy wanted people to join him within the tropics back in the day the only time that you heard anything about a coat or similarities you know with coats coat influence etc man it mainly had to do with european people and that ain't even putting no damn cut on it. Just like at one given time, the only people that was taking their own damn life, you know, were people that were European. Melanated beings wasn't doing no stuff like that. But over a period of time, some way it found its way uh, within minority groups, uh, inner cities, just within melanated people at a damn hole. But I wonder, what is it that was so attractive back then, just as the attraction to this day with a coat. Me, what I believe is crazy as hell, y'all. Least intelligent being on this planet, and that goes for insects. Everything that's on this planet is smarter than us because it's nature. And so we're not intelligent. Everything that we're doing is sophisticated, yet not intelligent. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we, so we have to say that we are the most ignorant species on this planet. Yeah. And those that are intelligent can agree. I mean, ignorant. They say Pisces is tired of this crap. Look, look at look at Armand's facial expression. I bet you then he was like, man, I'm about to blow this shit, man. I'm about to get the fuck away from these clowns. Look at Jax with his stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? Pie yeah. face, motherfucking, unmotherfucking cooked pancake looking ass. So we have to say that we are the most ignorant species on this planet. Yeah. And those that are intelligent can agree. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how sophisticated we build ourselves into our ignorance. <laughs> we're still the dumbest species on this planet and if you don't understand that then we have to, we can't really talk logic you know what i'm saying because we deal with logic here a lot of the One stuff you need to understand that elegio said he would have wanted for people to have forgotten that stuff just as the person commented right here on the screen and stated don't forget he let a dog lick his pain and said that the dog liked it what part of nature is that we can't really talk logic you know what I'm saying? Because we deal with logic here. One thing people need to understand is that divine order is divine law, and divine law means that we are in tune with nature. Divinity means to be in tune with nature. And if we have, we don't have men. Men, oh, I have so many things to teach you, and we're going to establish other stuff. But I just want to tell you that man means law. Law spelled backwards. Means just dropped it in the comments and said, "I do like the teaching." But I just want to tell you that man means. After all, you see. This is what this is how people got caught up listening to his weird ass and uploading these damn videos. Law. Law spelled backwards means wall. Okay. Even in this lower self uh, society, there's laws, and we move through the laws. You break the law, you go to jail, you get put away, you get punished. What I'm telling you is that there's laws to nature that we are going against and we're being punished because of those because going against those laws. If we can establish a, a community that abides by these laws, then we can establish heaven on earth. Period. You understand what I'm saying? It's that simple. You cannot come out of the hell state until you abide by the laws of nature and live in harmony with the equilibrium of the planet. So we have to establish towns, cities that are sustainable. We have to we have to establish these things on earth for us to be to live in a heavenly state. Man, fuck the heavenly state. What happened to the self-sustainable eco-village and shit that you were supposed to have been building? That was the initial reason how did you got people to listen to you. That was one of the main reasons why people joined you in the damn tropics or at least bought a fucking plane ticket and then flew to a different country. Those were all things that you said, promises that you never made good of. And that means with our behavior, it starts You with ain't have no damn body out. And your behavior on social media, you was just basically showing your ass. So first, we have to unfuck ourselves and un, I'm, excuse my language, because I'm going to stop cursing so much. Um, we have to un, um, unwrap and reconstruct the way we think about life. And our knowledge does that. Okay? It shows us. Say Pisces, Platin. Look. <laughs> Shout out to AP Cadence. How we're supposed to live. And on top of that, um, anybody that wants to support what we're doing, then do it. You know what I'm saying? Then do it now. And, and, and come together now. Let's unite. Let's talk. Let's let's inbox. Let's really get together and establish this thing. And um, with that being stated, 
we got we got a lot of work to do. Um, for all the young people out there that's in tune with ancient and get what we're saying, shout out to y'all. I know it's a lot of young people that's gonna be with us because a lot of young people get what we're saying. Know that it's a lot of young people that's gonna be with them. And as I stated earlier, it was in fact the young impressionable that he was looking for. We got we got a lot of work to do. Um, for all the young people out there that's in tune with ancient and get what we're saying, shout out to y'all. I know it's a lot of young people that's gonna be with us because a lot of young people. A lot of young people get what we're saying. A lot of older people, they're going to go into computers. So with that being stated, I want to say I love myself. And um, you're going through a transition right now. I wonder why ain't nobody hit no panel and spoke about this. Why they ain't talking about the heads who sit there and this for the rich with this. That's why the person recorded this bullshit. But nobody ain't saying nothing about it. This is it. Look at I want to hear about this part right here. What the fuck did he tell you? This great silence over there.
sentence. Now his ass has gone away. Hey. right back to the past. You literally embody the past because we live in a cycle. I'm telling you who I am. And they labeled me, Satan told you who I was. A co-leader. Look up what a cult leader is. It's and they labeled me. Satan told you who I was. A cult leader. Look up what a cult leader is. It's simple. They wasn't a cult. I thought he didn't acknowledge being a cult leader. You see how deep that this shit is right here. And you see how he continues uh, to stick his club ass foot in his mouth. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because, you know, they 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 wanted to say that, you know, that they were not a cult. But he sit here and said that he was a cult leader. OK, yeah, no. And they labeled me Satan told you who I was. Cold leader. Look up what a cold leader is. It's simple. But watch all these dudes start getting a cold. They're going to have followers following them saying that they are the divine connection to the higher self. Watch. Watch. But remember, I been on it. Been on it. But It's simple. Well, watch all these dudes start getting a cold. They're going to have followers following them saying that they are the divine connection to the higher self. Watch. Watch. But remember, I been on it. Been on it. But for real, for real, in real life, and everybody's going to be doing it. Everybody's going to be a cult leader. Watch. I'm telling you nothing but facts. Dressing like all mystical and godly and in exotic ways. They're going to be dressing in exotic ways and they're going to have a following around them, women around them, just like me. Woman that's just worshiping them. Watch. False prophets. If they sell you a product, they not a God. You shall know them by their fruits. But these right here, these are the best of the best of the best, sir. My guys are the men in black, the X-Men. I train them in special ways. These are my children. I made them. I made them with my own breath. My own blood, my own bone. I made him with my said his own breath. Look, my own breath. Don't try to play it off, Aya. Don't try to play it off like this club foot degenerate made you. Ain't no damn way with his garbage, pale kid facial expression. My own blood, my own bone. And they live to worship me. We build in a metaverse. The world's going on. Building a damn metaverse. Now, you see the color, right? You see what color that he is, right? 
strange enough how people like, you know, Rashad Jamal, he made an attempt to use movies to correlate things that he was saying around talking points. But the avatar itself, the blue people that you heard me speak on for quite some time, the avatar people is what he was striving for. He wanted this level of divinity. And you've heard me speak on this individual several times and how dangerous that this individual was, uh, people that partook, you know, within Kriya Yoga and how the affiliates of Kriya Yoga, they all seem to be people that was out in nature. They were people that devoted themselves to one particular person, which in fact is Baba Ji, who I call Baba Ji. Take note of Rajneesh, Paramahansa, Yogananda. Swami Siri, Yukteswar, Adi Shankara, and Chaitanya Maya Prabhu. These are all individuals who promoted and who propagated Kriya Yoga and what Kriya Yoga actually is. And one of the biggest promoters of Kriya Yoga was Yogi Bhajan, the person who, when you hear people on social media talking about the divine feminine, you know, and how that, you know, you are able to attain the divine feminine, those teachings came from this person right here. I know you want my attention, I'll give it to you. Stand in the tree pose there. I finished my work. How's your sex life? Charming, sexy. Look at them. Seduce them. Is she sexy? We were sent to a camp every summer. Uh, is she smiling? Is she sexy? Yogi Bhajan's abuse towards me started as soon as I was around him and his entourage. It turns out the secretaries are really just a hair. It's documentary when these women gave their account of Yogi Bhajan that is similar to the account from the sex cult leader, Elysio Bishop, and how women within carbonation were in fact abused. From women at his disposal to either groom girls for him or be part of his bed, really night duty, and cleaning his house. Those were all things to get you ready to be in his bedroom. Same way how the women in carbonation was cleaning up out the nature boy and even cleaning him for that matter. For a number of years, he was claiming celibacy. He didn't initiate sexual contact with me uh, for a few months. And by the time he did, I had hunkered down into the programming and it was okay because he was the teacher. Eddie Bear. The same type of teddy bears that Nature Boy gave the women in carbonation. Just think about it for a second. And and you've seen them. You've you you have seen various photo. Yeah, like in this wow, like when you see this stuff with Yogi Bhajan. But as I made an attempt to tell people for quite some time, he is in fact the author and the originator of this lifestyle with having women subservient to him. And he was the one determining my life. But I learned that he had named me publicly in a way I did not ever know about. Premka. It's a name that actually any Punjabi would know meant like a mistress. He claimed to have an exclusive relationship with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just as our cult leaders do, but then they have sex with all of their students, men and women. For eight years out of my 16 years, until I found out he was having sexual relations with other women at the time. Right. Pretty much the same stuff that Nature Boy was doing. But let's go back to the avatar for just one second. And I want you to take note with Maha Avatar Baba G and just look at him. Look at look at his damn head for that fucking matter. You feel me? That motherfucker look like damn a, a damn vanilla way for young Pharaoh. But ironically this level of modern yoga, the movement within itself, Baba G is in fact, you know, associated, you know, with a lot of different fucking, you know, arts as far as the performers of yoga. Yogi Bhajan would be that person 
that followed the script to a T when it came down to Mahavatar, you know, the Mahavatar Baba G and the things that Mahavatar Baba G actually experienced. To me, this is all a fucking myth to tell you the damn truth. This is, in fact, a Hindu way of life. So my thing would be, why is it that so many melanated individuals, why is it that they've strived for quite some damn, you know, some time, you know, to attain like this level? And this is something, this is a practice that is foreign to us. Why people would even want to get into like this Sanskrit, I don't understand, but it's crazy because it's a form of Hinduism. And as I told you all before, you know, in reference, you know, to the blue people, the avatar people and what they're a part of, this has a lot to do with that movie, which they do say that art imitates life, but there is somewhat of a portal that has to do, you know, with this avatar pronounced it's a concept with the hinduism that is sanskrit it signifies the material appearance or incarnation of a powerful deity or spirit on earth the relative verb to alight to make one's appearance is sometimes used to refer to any guru or revered human being so peep game with the with the peep game with the incarnation of the powerful deity or the spirit this is what the majority of the followers of this weird ass shit would make an attempt to do to incarnate power from some damn foreign unknown damn deity. That's what's so dangerous about all of this. When you actually demonstrate and you experiment with energies that you don't even know shit about energies that could even have somewhat of an adverse effect on your life. But let's go ahead and then get down to it, because theologically, the term is most often associated with the Hindu god Vishnu. OK, and we can look at the color of, of Vishnu and who the hell that, that, that Vishnu weird ass is. So whenever that you see this individual with multiple arms, this androgynous being, this being that you can't make a definite determination if it is, in fact, a male or female, just know that this is, in fact, the divine feminine throughout social studies if you're over the age of you know 40 years old and you remember throughout school that they spoke about the rig vader and you know throughout the rig vader which is in fact written you know in sanskrit it's crazy because these vedas you know they went deeper you know within the context of the avatars the vedic literature you know you've heard about the upanishads you know and its symbolic image and the Upanishads, which in fact were mentioned throughout the textbooks as well, were the late Vedic and the post Vedic Sanskrit texts that document the transition from the archaic ritualism of the Veda into new religious ideas and institutions. Those new institutions by people like Yogi Bhajan, but that form of ritualism throughout the Vedas, this is something that was passed down for years, you know, from generation to generation. So this form of Hinduism, you know, this ancient art, you know, this Indian religion or Dharma is in fact a universal order of way of life which followers they abide. The word Hindu is an exonym. And while Hinduism has been called the oldest religion in the world, it has also been described as Sanatanya, Dharma, a modern usage or somewhat of the basic belief. So my question would be, why is it that so many, you know, Americans, people from this country, why is it that they've gotten so wrapped up in this stuff that has to do with the avatar? The only blue people that I knew of growing up was the damn Smurfs, to tell you the truth. But then individuals like Kali, a major Hindu goddess associated with time change, creation, power, destruction, and death in Shaktism. Kali is the first of the 10 Mahabadiyas, the Hindu tantric tradition. So that's where yoga comes in with all of this and people, you know, who deal with tantric yoga and don't think that I'm a hater on yoga and stuff like that. If that's what you're doing, you know, to stretch, I'm all for that. And like I say, shout out to you. But what people don't know about the underlying theme of yoga is that it was started, it originated, and it has everything to do with the Maha Avatar Baba Ji, 
Kali, the goddess, the evil goddess at that. These are all energies that you will open up and allow into your body if you demonstrate, if you participate, if you exercise, and if you take part in yoga in general. Okay, I just want you to know that shit because all of this stuff which you heard about Baba G, man, I'm here to tell you, is is you gonna always find confused, sexually confused individuals that would be the propagators of this type of lifestyle. Hey, and Namaste. I'm Zay with Exu Yoga, an affirming space for you to heal out loud. Thank you for showing up for yourself, and welcome to another flow. This week, we're gonna be doing Tantra yoga for couples. Now, this is not limited to just couples. You can do Tantra yoga by yourself or you can do it with multiple people. Um, Man, ain't no way in the hell. This dude sitting here with these long ass fucking nails out on some damn body balcony, making it seem as if that this prescribed way of life would be the most befitting for you. This is outrageous, yo. And this is how tantric yoga, you know, comes into play with all of this stuff. This is how sex comes along with people being a part of cults and this new form of indoctrination that you see out here on social media because I've seen a lot thus far. And as far as tantric yoga and the people that participate in tantric yoga, especially men any damn way, that want to get down on the floor and stretch and they want to interconnect and join their bodies together and do this form of yoga, you have to question like, what are the benefits of this stuff right here? And what level of sexual energy is it that people would be displaying if in fact they took part in this level of yoga that has been administered, that has been financed, that has been backed and promoted by people like Baba G. Tantric exercises in yoga. We're going to go ahead and lay down on our mat. Slowly roll down. With your feet pressed together, the soles of your feet, open up your knees nice and wide. And gently just open up like butterfly your knees open. Little pulses of, opening up. That form of opening up. Man, look here. As soon as she said opening up, you already know where my damn mind went to. Breathe deep. Don't hold your breath. Visualize energy going into your sexual organs. See? Visualize energy going into your sexual organs. woman basically have her fingers in between her breast and her other hand would be between her legs lightly pressing up against the damn cootie area and stuff you see what i'm saying <laughs> but they want us to believe that this is the right the most appropriate thing to be doing and people like nature boy for years the sex cult leader this was one of the things that he propagated the most and he wanted to be viewed as being baba g you know why i don't let kids around me other people kids around me because the way i am see me i like to be naked let me tell you a little son about nature boy See me, I'm a real human. See my kids, when I see my son, this is how I treat my son. We naked together. My son started being ashamed of his body and I seen it happen. I didn't want that to happen. They made him ashamed of his body. They showed him that he was naked. I did not want him to know he was naked. I said, son, look here. I didn't even want him to be in a world where he knew he was naked. I wanted my son to be so pure that he never knew he was naked. I take bath with my kids. I'm naked with my kids. I have sex in front of my kids. I never be ashamed of sex. My son be breastfeeding. I'll be making love to his mom. That's me, bro. I never be ashamed of sex. My son be breastfeeding. I'll be making love to his mom. That's me, bro. That's how I get down around kids. I try to keep their purity. I don't want to take their purity away by cutting. You mean to tell me that he was having sex with 
with Javine and, and little EJ was right there the whole damn time. Now, that's crazy when you think about it. Now, this is the stuff that he said out of his mouth. This is the stuff I'm sure inmates within the Department of Correction, within the prison, they have access to phones, that Google search who this person is, if it ever damn comes up. But knowing him as much as what the hell did he talk, he gonna want the whole damn prison and the whole damn world to know that he was on the news, he was on court TV, uh, Fox 26 used to have his wives on there, and the whole damn nine. So yeah, they may just in fact stumble across this footage, this this video information right here when he said all of this shit right here. By covering myself up, they're gonna be ashamed and cover they self up. And I'm pure at heart. So you can think in your mind, if I let another kid here, I'm gonna have to change the way I am so that your kid could be comfortable around me. No, I'm gonna be naked as fuck in front of your kids. My son comes up and grabs my penis. I let him grab my penis. I had sex with his mom. I'm making love to his mother. After I'm done, I'm laying there chilling. He grabbed my penis. And he's playing with my penis. Yeah. I let that happen. He let that stuff happen. And I tripped so much because, you know, during the whole ordeal, you know, the two years and, you know, with the trial and things that were slated, things that were said, you know, that was very incorrectly. One of the main damn things that was said, you know, was, you know, they brought up the thing about how that there was not a false imprisonment within the carbonation sex coat. But you will be able to clearly see right here, you know, about this coat and how did they prevent it? One of the members from actually leaving the damn coat, which I haven't heard anybody speak on thus far. This was some serious shit that took place. But before that we get into it, I just want to say that coats, they are in fact a usually small group of devoted, you know, people to one particular person or idea or philosophy. The term coat is often applied to a religious movement that exists in some degree of tension. Tension now, I want you to check out the tension within this video. With the dominant religious or cultural inclination of society in recent years, the word cult has been most commonly used as a pejorative term for a religious group that falls outside the mainstream and by implication engages in questionable activities. Many new religions are, in fact, controversially labeled as cults, but in history, we found out you know, that there are, in fact, no negative connotations to the use of the term cult, but the actions are, in fact, different. It is especially common in works on classical history in the ancient Mediterranean world that there was a home to a large variety of mystery cults. These were small groups whose elite members were initiated into secret rituals for a particular deity. Far from existing at the tension with the society at large, many Roman cults were heavily integrated into the surrounding societies. In Pompeii, one of the most lavishly decorated temples was that of the cult of Isis. Now you can, you know, see where the whole Egyptian thing actually comes into play. And as far as the Romans, just know that you all are and that you have participated and partook in things that was done by Romans. It's not your way of life. It's not a practice that anybody that's melanated should, you know, do or engage with for that matter. But as far as the damn false imprisonment and how they false imprison one of the members within the cult, man, ain't no way in the hell they could ever say that the sex cult leader did not persuade members to do this right here. What? How is this your room and you're trying to leave? <laughs> this is my room until I leave. Yeah. Okay. Until I leave. So I'm, thank I'm thankful. You goofy. You so goofy. I know your feelings was hurt because of what I said on live. I get it. I get it. But it's the truth. Excuse myself. Excuse myself. And you don't have, hey, somebody help her. They don't need to carry Oh, look, look. Now they, now they want to, just grab my other bag. You can do that. That's because you're carrying it too much. What if you drop her? I'm going to, what am I carrying? I'm carrying her. That is it. In your head. In the bag. You know that's not how you They 
didn't want her to leave. They didn't want her to leave and then tell what the hell was really damn happening. Get away! Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? This was false imprisonment. Open the door. You're screaming at me. Open the door. Open They're the screaming in baby girl's ear. Now you talking about me? Get away from me. Open the door and take like me down this? the hill. Like now, now I'm acting like this. Let me in the car. Let me in the car. Let me in the car. And the sex cult leader is nowhere around. He was never around whenever this this stuff took place. He wasn't there. Anytime that some fuck shit happened, he would disappear. But he would then have the sex cult members. He would have them then in his own image as they worshipped him as to taunt people, uh, as to say this. Mm -hmm negative negative and blatantly disrespectful things to them in a and i want to say this too and it's crazy you know how nature boy ass he was never around whenever there's some shit jumped off he was never there but they said all of that stuff about false imprisonment and and how janae was able to leave on her own and, and nobody you know prevented her from leaving and stuff but what about what happened to tori what what about when 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 she tried to leave when she tried to leave with her child and stuff you see how they all bogarting and stuff how they standing around they you, you fit that this is false imprisonment on a whole nother level right here and I do think that this was inspired by Clubfoot. I think Clubfoot is the one that told him to press her if she tried to leave. Oh, no, she can't leave. She might tell what we've been doing. Yeah, she might even reveal some other stuff that's going on. And you see back then, damn near four and a half to five years ago and stuff, how this lady still ain't said what happened. She done been on panels, <laughs> done been featured, done spoke out. She doesn't, you know, say what her experience was or whatnot, but she never explained this part and then the things that led up to this. See, this is that real shit that should have been spoken on. She wouldn't even had to have been in court for this to have been played and to have made a valid point that would better define in character who Nature Boy is. Just think about it. That was crazy. Yeah, they was they was on deck. Yeah, just I, I mean, what the fuck? Was this not false in prison? This on a whole other level, ain't it? I would fucking think when you're doing stuff like this, I mean, they made a bold statement with this shit right here. Like, oh yeah, no one can leave. Yeah, yeah, no one no one can leave type of shit or whatever. In attempts so that they would not leave. This is, in fact, false imprisonment. Let me in the car. Let me in the car. I'm calm. I'm calm. Let me in the car. Let me get in the car. Please don't get the keys. I'm calm. Stop. I'm concerned about my daughter's safety, bro. So you see, isn't it a little bit game, Joe? Stop. Fuck all the bullshit, yo. All the bullshit because you acting. Stop. That shit is phony, bro, because you put them on facade. It's not a facade. It is, bro. It's not a facade. Y'all following me around the house talking about I'm carrying too much. Yo, what? What? Fuck all that shit, bro. This is all I was carrying. I was only carrying her. That's it. That's it. That's it. This man did beautiful baby, man. And this dude, this is just crazy right here. I'm like, why wouldn't you leave with your baby mother? Why wouldn't you want to protect her? Why would you want to stay in a coat? You know why? Because his mind is fucked up. That's what the hell it is. And I had it with two hands. You walked down the stairs. And there was you two know, hands. You walked down the stairs just for baby girl. I help you. So stop. No, you don't. I had to ask you to help me. I help when you. I'm not carrying a car seat. You. No, you stop. You help. Please let me in the car. Please stop. go get the keys. Please go get the keys. I asked for help. I asked for y'all to grab the other bag. See, a lot of this stuff could have been played. Okay. It, was, it wasn't even a need. Like I say, Nature Boy, he buried his damn self. But do you not agree? Do you not agree that this was, in fact, false in prison? Because they laid the game down. Man, they laid that shit all the way down with this one right here. It's like Nature Boy gave them some commands or some shit or whatever and was like, yeah, you know, on, on whatever level, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't let her leave. Yeah, no, man, because she, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was some weird shit that took place with all of this. And even back then, people should have been questioning it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what in the fuck is going on? Like what? What is the fucking deal? Yeah, like what in the fuck? Like y'all don't y'all don't want her to leave because of what? And then once that she left, then you got a question like, why didn't she go to the authorities? Why didn't she 
report this person who at one time played as if that he was a teacher, her father and brother at the same damn time. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, when this was hot, like when this was a situation, like when, when the shit jumped off, like why then wasn't anything said? Do you think that it had anything to do with cult programming or cult brainwashing? Because she didn't seem to be brainwashed the program right there. She knew to get the hell up out of there along with her child. <laughs> she knew that that wasn't the best place to be. She knew that, you know, her baby daddy was on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And he wanted to stay there. Yeah. That's why I'm like, now that this dude is locked up, man, they need to be talking about that real shit. They need to be going all the way to fuck in. They need to be going all the way to fuck in. Them the type of questions that King World got like, damn, how did, how did y'all let that shit happen? Like, seriously? Like, damn, were you afraid? Like, damn, did you, I mean, like, uh, uh, upon reaching the airport, you know, what was that situation like? Yeah, I mean, damn, was your heart pumping? Were you at all thinking, hey, my baby dad, he just wants to stay there and hang out and waste his life. We have a child together. Like what what was going through your head? Did you tell your parents, your brother, uncle, cousin? I mean, did you did you let anybody know this stuff? And if so, did they not want to whoop his ass? You know what I'm saying? Like th those are just like real questions that I have because that's fucked up. She was crowded. She was crowded and taken advantage of. And as you see, Nature Boy was nowhere around, just like every other damn time. These are the actions that people have championed when they say stuff like, oh, yeah, he shouldn't have got a life sentence and shit like that. Uh, he wasn't supposed to do what? He wasn't supposed. You don't think by what he did to Tory that his ass deserved a fucking life sentence? That's wrong as hell. And, you know, man, look at him, man. Her daughter was small. Their, their child was small. Not to say that that child is going to have like any recollection of the event, but I'm pretty sure that it will have some impact in the child's life. I'm, I'm sure of that. And the reason being because she's the parent and I'm sure that she feels some kind of way about the stuff. And if she didn't feel some kind of way about it, we wouldn't have seen her on a panel talking about carbonation and stuff like that. Because last time that I spoke with her, she told me, oh, yeah, it's done been, you know, that's in the past. You know, that's that's my past life and stuff. You know, she was like, yeah, you know, I ain't, you know, I don't really, you know, have, you know, nothing to do with that stuff or whatever. And I just was like, OK, word, you know what I mean? And and when I and when I got that message, I just was like. That's interesting. I was like, wow, you know, and I have to look at the date. OK, that was on the 20th. Yeah, that was that was on the 20th, you know, which is weird as hell. Hold on. Let me let me just look at this date right quick. Let's let's get into this date, because when I spoke to her, this is the stuff that she was telling me. You see what I'm saying? She was like, yeah, you know, you know, that's my, you know, my past life and, you know, stuff or whatever. She was like, yeah, don't, you know, it don't have nothing to do with me. And her exact words were, oh, wow. But I say, yo, I say, I say, yo, I say it was on my panel yesterday. I was telling her about the stuff, you know, about what Icy said, you know, about new and the whole nine. And she was like, yeah, she was like, oh, wow. She was like, I didn't think a lot of that stuff transpired until after I left. It got worse. So I was like, yeah, hopefully, you know, you and, you know, your family good and stuff. She said, wow, yeah, we good. Minding my business and staying out the way. She said, that foolery has nothing to do with me at this point. It's been four years. Ain't that some shit? I just be tripping off all this stuff, man. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, at one time, it ain't had nothing to do with her. And then it was like, yo, let me get on a panel and and then talk about you know my experience in the code and stuff like i don't understand like what what brought about like you know such a quick you know what i'm saying like change and shit or whatever yeah because when i hit her up she just was like you know yeah that's that's in the past i ain't got nothing to do with that but then when nature boy get locked up on you know what i'm saying once that shit jump off and his ass gets sentenced and shit it's like then everybody be having stuff to say yeah, I'm just like, can you come and answer a couple of these questions? I mean, because the hype and stuff done died down about Nature Boy and stuff. So I know, yeah, nobody, you know what I'm saying, going to be 
you know, you know, rushing in your inbox and stuff and asking you to do interviews and paying you and stuff. But that's just crazy, though. And like looking at that date. So you got to think about King World, the content creator that sit back and watched all this stuff. And this was like, well, damn. So now you 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 feel some kind of way about the shit now. That now it got something to do with you because he he done got sentenced and got a life sentence. Now it got something to do with everybody. Now though, everybody got to jump in. Now that's what I'm saying. Like jump in and, and and come over here and tell us some real shit. Yeah yeah yeah. Tell us what 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 Clubfoot was doing because y'all are on our side now. The trolls. Remember we was the trolls. See now y'all are trolls too because y'all don't rock with him no more. So we 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 supposed to have a troll family. We the family of trolls. That's who we are. Yeah. And, and, and we all can get along and be trolls and, and, and talk about this weird shit or whatever, because it need to be discussed. It need to be exposed, to be honest with you. Mm. What y'all think? Y'all think it need to be exposed? Because every time... I'm going to be honest with you. Every time I hear one of y'all and, and y'all on somebody's panel, I can usually listen no longer than like 15 seconds. But every time it's always some stuff about, you know, like being abused and, 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 and this happened and that happened. But you never detail that stuff like you never go into it and say, well, this, you know, this is what really happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was fucked up, you know, but this, 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 the real stuff like this, this what really happened. Like I was really fucked up. Yeah. I was really held against my will. Yeah. He, he, he grabbed my wrist and, and slung me down on the bed. Yeah. And, and then pulled the tablecloth off of me and commenced to, you know, uh, ram his dirty D up inside me and stuff like that. Like, why don't y'all talk about that stuff? Or is it like too painful? Or something? Like, I don't understand. Because like when you have the platform and you featured on people's channel and stuff, the people that's tuning in, they want to know about that aggressive, abusive stuff. Now, I don't you know, I'm not a self-proclaimed, you know, live stream coach or no shit like that. But I just think, you know, that's what the people will want to hear. Huh? You say she wouldn't talk to us. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know what the, the reason is why people don't talk to us and stuff. Say they only surface. Yeah, I think they do, too. I think they be surface talking and stuff like they only be saying like some of the stuff. Yeah. They, and it don't really be hitting, you know, for what it's worth. It'd be some old. Yeah, it'd be like some G rated stuff or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, damn fam. OK, like straight up. He he didn't leave the coat thinking, yeah, that nature boy was going to handle everything and he was going to take care of everything like Juju dumbass sitting in leaves and shit. Yeah, that nigga got a thumb and everything. He's sitting out there in the leaves. I'm like, what is on your... I can't even question what's on his mind because there's never been anything on his mind. And if any one of them seriously took anything that Nature Boy said in validity as being the truth, they stupid as a motherfucker. They stupid as hell. There, there is no way <laughs> that that motherfucker rerun from what's happening reverse jargon speaking <laughs> it's weird ain't no way in the hell this weird ass gonna ever damn speak no truth cash what the hell you want what's up babe you know he was all about you know like peace fighting this whatever living in nature but now after I mean, really just like taking notes and stuff about, you know, like what his sister has said and stuff. And it's just like, he's always been a, a, a woman abuser. So like he, just like she said, he punched his, his own sister or, you know, like in the face. Then he did, was it Maisha or whoever? I don't know. Or yeah, Maisha. Yeah, like he he's had this pattern. So that's always been in him he never sought out to get help with that or anything so he's always been like this womanizer or this abuser that has always been in him because so to say that he was on this journey or this path yeah it was always
That's the shit that be pissing me off, yo. Like, with a lot of y'all weird motherfuckers anyway. What fucking path was he on aside from a damn path of destruction? Like, let's let's keep it real for a second. He didn't do no positive shit was so damn ever. If anything, he corrupted, he corrupted a large group of young people. That's what he did. Nature boy and his influence. And I ain't had not now one of his weird ass lame ass tablecloth wearing ass supporters that's done came over here and checked me on that shit yet because they know it's the fucking truth with his abusive lying rhetoric speaking ass he would do that shit using four and five syllable words he didn't even understand what the fuck the meaning was of okay that's all he did he was an entertainer at best and one damn thing about it aside from him shaking his ass on stage and them damn superman draws and stuff him and that other dude grinding in them high-tech boots and shit man i'ma tell you what he did was he entertained y'all on the internet just by taking his shirt off see he went from the exotic club and shit straight to the internet and a lot of you bought that shit a lot of you was hanging on to the edge of your seat listening to this club foot clown knowing that he didn't know what the hell he was talking about I can play consecutive videos you ain't never seen in your motherfucking life of nature, boy, where it's weird ass talking about absolutely nothing. How in the hell was absolutely nothing able to connect with y'all? How did that, how in the hell through the algorithm did that come up on your phone and then you decided that what he was saying was some legitimate, concrete, helpful information, some shit that was beneficial to you? Don't lie about the shit. And don't nobody give a fuck whether your ass leave or not, okay? That's a quick, okay, bye. Because you already, the majority of you anyway was listening to this clown that you ain't got to come to my shit just to listen to me air his ass out. You looking for some information that you didn't know. Okay, that's all the fuck that it is. And if you didn't know that information back then, why the hell did you take off face value the stuff that this clown was saying? You didn't even research Y'all didn't even do no further investigation into none of that stuff that he was saying. He tell you, take your damn shoes off. You took your shoes off for no reason whatsoever. And then what he did was he incorporated them East Indian gods into your life. And you wonder why you confused as fuck right now. It's motherfuckers that's done jump from from reading motherfucking tarot cards to the uh, goddamn astrology tapestry. Now they ass out this motherfucker just simply in the background listening. That's all you can do. That's all you can do because you know you convicted by this shit right here. This clown nigga, he made his way into your home. He influenced you. He had you thinking that was the right way to live. You had, I'm telling you, you was into that shit. You ordered some motherfucking sage from Amazon.com. You burnt it. You thought that shit was going to destroy some evil spirits. And the evil spirit was on was on your damn phone talking to your weird ass on live streams, on Instagram, right in front of your fucking face. Niggas should have been burning sage and putting that shit to their phone when they was listening to him. And you wonder why, how many times over and over repeatedly, I would have to pause that shit and go the fuck in. I went the fuck in to say your weird ass. That's what I was doing. I didn't want you to get caught up in none of the shit that he was saying that he didn't even have a, a, a complete overstanding of. I didn't want you to be sitting there. Yeah resting at night and hear that shit reverberating throughout your damn subconscious you in the rem talking about whatever you do keep the knowledge and your weird ass just sitting there snoring and shit it was indoctrinated into your psyche it just so happened that king world was the one that was airing his ass the fuck out making sure that you was laughing at his fucking ass because shouldn't no one ever should have taken his ass seriously and the, and the members of uh, Carbonation, whether they want to call themselves ex-members or former members or not, remember, it was me. I was the person he told y'all not to listen to. The same person now you see that was telling the fucking truth. So what part of realization, what part of accepting that accountability and admittance are you all afraid of right now? I'm just trying to figure this shit out. I was telling you the right shit from day fucking one. He was sitting there with a straight face looking like a whole live fucking skeleton dingo and shit. He looked, that motherfucker looked like a wild dog in the face. And y'all thought the shit that he was saying was true. That's the shit that resonated with you. And I was trying to tell y'all ass to go the fuck home to your family. Man, make that shit make sense. Somebody make that shit make sense. I'm trying to figure it out. 
because when y'all go to anybody panel and get up there and talk about anything, I was the person that was telling y'all to get the fuck away from him. So I won again, successful again. But the thing about it is you afraid to admit that. Well, what's wrong? What, 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 you, what you don't want to come over here and say, oh, you was right. You don't want to come over here and say that. But you will listen, though. <laughs> you scared to tight, but you won't listen to shit, though, huh? Yeah, was world right, though? I told you. He's a clown. He's a clown. Any one of y'all could have just been in the tropics or got your own fucking ticket and went over there and did whatever the hell that you wanted to do. I would have, like, yeah, look at here. I would have been, I would have been like more overjoyed just to have seen Velvet and some other women just doing what it do. I know it wouldn't have been no clown motherfuckers that would have invaded it. I, I know for damn sure that you done had these straight up so-called wannabe poly pretending ass Play-Doh Lego put together Tetris ass niggas out here with this polygamy shit and ain't did shit. Ain't man one of you clown niggas done started no tribe or did none of that shit. The only thing y'all niggas did was try to get over on some women. That's it. That's all. You ain't did shit. And this fake ass nigga that got a life sentence was your savior. Now your savior gone. That should show you and should tell you to delete the mission. Delete. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It should, it should tell you that this shit ain't good. Nothing about this shit is good. This wasn't nothing but a big ass fucking waste that need to be a delete in your life right now. All this shit that was incorporated into your psyche by this clown nigga right here that was on social media. Don't get mad at me. You need to get mad at this nigga for wasting your fucking time. You need to get mad at this nigga for telling you all of this weird ass shit about a fucking holographic. You, some shit that don't even fucking exist. Don't even fucking eat them niggas. Look, them motherfuckers, them characters, X-Men and, and them motherfucking, yeah, all the weird motherfucking characters and shit. They had back superheroes and shit. They had motherfucking cars back in the day I used to fucking buy. They had their strengths and weaknesses and all this dumb ass shit on there. That was on a hologram card. I knew them niggas wasn't real back then. Spider-Man, Superman, none of them niggas wasn't real. That was a hologram card. You turn that shit to the side, that shit was looking like it was 3D. I know that wasn't real. I know it wasn't real. It's people that bought into this stuff that wanted this shit to be real. They wanted it to be real, but it wasn't. And, and it definitely wasn't real by a fake-ass nigga that was on the internet trying to propagate this shit. And you know that. You know that. So why now is it this thing with the, well, you know, I'm just going to, yeah, I'll come on and then tell my story. You ain't told your story yet. You ain't told your story. You left out a lot of shit within the story. What, what, what happened to the money? If Tori is the one that, that's out here going on people panels and talking and stuff, Tori was the one that was head of the finance team. What, what happened with the money, Tori? What happened with the money? When you left, what happened with the account? How did y'all change the accounts? How did True get the cash out? When did he start being head of the finance? Man, work that shit out. He locked up now. You can tell us now. You can reveal the secrets now. You can you can you can put all of us up on game and what the cult leader actually did instrumentally with getting each and every one of you to partake in his bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Let's talk about that. Let's get into that. Go back over to Bobby Knight channel. Get on Bobby Knight's channel and, and get up there and talk about that shit. Talk about how you was over the money and talk about how much money that you was receiving from the military and how that you aided and assisted carbonation. And once shit went the other way, then you did. Talk about that. Talk about the real shit. See, I don't understand why motherfuckers act like they ain't hear what Icy Smoke said. That man took accountability with every fucking thing. Even the shit that he was like, you know what? I might look fucked up if I say this. I'm going to still fucking say it. And he said it because he fucking real. I be tripping out over y'all with these paid ass interviews, this, 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 this jaw jacking ass shit. And you ain't even saying nothing. This man came over here for the free and explained this stuff to us. He didn't have to tell us a damn thing. But then people will be sitting back or waiting for one of y'all to get up on a panel and share your experience in a coat. What we waiting on and you ain't telling us shit. What we waiting on to hear the same story over and over again? Huh? I'm just saying, we, is it the same story over and over? Oh, yeah, we were abused. What else happened? When you was abused, then what happened? 
Did you ever get mad at him? You ever wanted to kick his ass? You ever wanted to get them scissor kick his motherfucking ass? I'm just saying, man, because it seems like to me that these people are going to sit back. They're going to wait for a little bit. Then they're going to want to get on somebody's panel. Then they're going to want to say, oh, yeah, well, this happened. And then that happened. But, you know, I don't really want to go in. What you mean you don't want to go into it? What is going into it supposed to do? Is it going to take away from the story or take away from the experience? Which one? Because if this stuff wasn't about nature, boy, uh, carbonation in general, I don't even think that anybody on the Internet would even know y'all any damn way. It was about this clown motherfucker that got a life sentence now. So now that this clown is gone, now this is y'all opportunity to tell what happened. You ain't got to tell what happened on this channel. Go get on Bobby Knight channel or one of the other cloud chaser motherfuckers channel that whenever it's a trending topic, they talk about shit and explain it. Explain it to the T for the people that been sitting back waiting for years, seven going on eight fucking years. Let us know. What was the what was the whole deal? Why did all of the why was all of the women named Mama? Because Serenity name was Mama, Joy name was Mama, and Mama Dia name was Mama. And Mama is all of the women who I believe that he had sex with. So is that what it is? Is that how you got to be called Mama? Because we ain't had that explained yet. And, and, and how was this nigga supposed to be Father Tahuti any damn way? And why the fuck to this day do Nubian weird ass still follow Mama D on Instagram? These are all questions that I want to know. Can we get some of them out there? I'm just saying, like, you know, since he's gone and stuff now. Can y'all correlate that over to her or them or any one of the alleged former members of the sex code? Let's talk about the money. Let's talk about how many Airbnbs y'all was. How, let's talk about what the prices was for those Airbnbs and how long that you stayed there. I think people don't want to talk about it because, see, then they're indebted. Then they become a part of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, now he's gone. So you ain't got to worry about the PPP loans. You ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. All you got to do now is just say, OK, yeah, this will happen. Yeah, I ain't with the code no more. I don't have no allegiance to the code because when you refrain and hold back information, that means that you're still in protection of the sex code leader. But it's OK. And, and it's funny that you say that, Joy, because I will be tapping in. I, I might even be tapping in a little later today. Yeah. yeah with, with somebody in the family. Yeah. We got to take the higher ground. So we'll be taking the higher ground probably a little later today. And, and we'll figure out, you know, what in the hell is going on uh, with Tanisha and then see. And I ain't going to say which one it is, but then we're going to see what her family think about this stuff. Yeah, man. So we have to take it to the we got to take it to the next level now. Straight up. We got we got to take it to the next level. And and the reason we're taking it to the next level, because, hell, we're down to four women and two zines, six members out of all of the so-called green heart supporting in the comment section of carbonation supporters. That's it. Just six of them. Really just four because they don't even acknowledge Jackson Juju. Them niggas don't even be on the live stream with Jackson Juju. They, they should even, man, it should tell they lame ass something. They don't even be on live with them at all. They, they, they don't even acknowledge them clowns. And they be out here wearing t-shirts and standing out in the woods and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. That shit's sad. So what is all of that for? What what is all of that proclaiming that the three is is already home and coming home and all of that stuff? Huh? What what is all that about? The 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 GoFundMe ain't changed from what I showed you the other night. It ain't it ain't changed. They hit on that. Yeah, I'm just like y'all made a big scene. Y'all went up there to Fox Twenty Six and made it seem like. That your husband was unjustly dealt with and stuff like that. Yeah, and y'all ain't even raised the money. So what now? You you ain't even raised the money. You ain't even get two thousand dollars. That's crazy. They sit up there and told that damn lie, like you supposed to been getting a damn appeal to turn. Y'all were gonna do nothing but split that damn little bit of money anyway. That ain't nothing but some chump change. That's what that is. 
that that that's that's my damn that's my damn DJ controller and 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 motherfucking uh two speakers. That's the fuck that he is right there. That's all that is. That's all that is right there. That really is the goddamn cable bill to tell you the truth. A month and a half for that motherfucker. Yeah, I mean shit. That's after all of it. This is all y'all could do. You mean to tell me that each one of y'all couldn't go get a fucking job? That's what you're telling me? you telling me y'all couldn't have at least sold some cootie to help out? I'm just saying. $1,953 out of $13,000. That is some sad shit there. Man, you need to throw the whole coat away. Throw the whole coat. Man, the coat ain't no good. <laughs> The coat was only good online for you making up stories and stuff, lying, making people seem like they gay and every damn thing else. That's all that the coat was good for. That's it. Nothing. No damn money. No damn money. That's, that's sad as hell. It's people that's done interviewed people that was in the coat that had more people in their damn live streams than the amount of dollars that y'all made a raise for this supposed alleged fucking appeal attorney. What fucking uh, this shit ain't even appealing to tell you the damn truth. It ain't even. And Zoka, with your dumb ass, you supposed to have been feel some kind of motherfucker. You ain't even on the goddamn pitch. So I doubt if they even going to split the damn money with you. They probably going to split it three ways. They gonna split that little nineteen hundred dollar. That's about six twenty. That's about six thirty five. Six thirty five a piece, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you might get you a three point five up out of there. Yeah, that's it, and that's all. It's a wrap. Y'all is it, and then you gotta factor in the airline ticket and Uber cost, and the few times that y'all gonna be able to eat some fast food, and after that, y'all can. Take your money and put it together and try to get you a motel room. But hell, after that, then what? Well, you, you, hey, you, you square motherfucker one. You at zero. You hit then. What you gonna do then? Get online and poppy this and poppy that. Don't nobody want to hear that stuff. Don't nobody want to hear that. Poppy put itself in there. We didn't do shit. Look, we didn't do nothing to Poppy. Poppy did it. Poppy did it. Which is which is sad for y'all. For us, it was a victory. For everybody on the internet, it was a victory that didn't support carbonation. I ain't talking about the clout chasing people who just showed up out of damn thin air recording videos and posting shit, asking motherfuckers to send money so they can go to a damn trial for this clown. Motherfuckers ain't even asked for money to go to damn Young Thug trial. You don't see none of these action reporting star celebrity talking about p diddy everyday motherfuckers out here talking about young thug and how long he done been in there so what in the fuck was all of that nothing cloud that's what it was i ain't the person that be sitting out here waiting for carbonation to go live so i can hurry up and take my other phone and record it with a damn phone as opposed to using a fucking screen recorder it's weird Niggas be out this motherfucker trying to hurry up and record shit and post it before I do. I, I talk about this shit when I feel like just for the fuck up. And I know that it's getting on you niggas nerves. So I'm going to keep on talking about these niggas straight up as I supposed to just because you feel some kind of motherfucking way. But that's all that it is. That's why they'll jump lanes. That's why there's no consistency whatsoever. ever. But then a clown like this who consistently lied to the entire social media as a person that you want to sit back and then say, yeah, I don't think he's supposed to got a life sentence. I don't think you niggas is thinking in general. To be honest with you, with all of the information that's done been pre presented thus far, I want to see which one of y'all niggas is going to write him a letter since y'all feel so strongly about it. Says all what happened to all of them damn videos of you clap niggas that was out here talking about nature boy and why he wasn't supposed to get a life sentence. Why you ain't talking about it now? Why you ain't talking about it now? You thought by talking about nature boy it was gonna run your views up. Yeah, it probably did, but hell, I mean, what else you gonna do though? I mean, shit. Let's go, man. Come on with the real shit. Come on with the real shit, wives. Since it's all of this extra shit out here about poppy this and poppy that. Why y'all ain't live talking about poppy? Why y'all ain't live donning your goddamn buzz cut 
talking about he coming home and all that. Why you ain't doing that? Because you know that this damn cult, this damn cult leader who falsely imprisoned people and had y'all weird ass out here, yeah, with teddy bears and shit. Yeah, that motherfucker, he right where he's supposed to be at. He right where he's supposed to be, man. And, I, and I'm glad just Stacey Hydrick ain't skip a beat with that shit. She ain't skip a beat, y'all. Straight like that. That that That's the best thing of all, yo. Yeah, she ain't let his ass get away with that. He thought he was, though. He, he thought he was going to be like Scott Free type of shit. Or he was going to get like a smack on the wrist or some shit. Man, you didn't get no damn smack of the wrist. Uh-uh. You got the you got the gluteus maximus. That's what the hell that you got. Yeah, and I told you them 10 years is on the motherfucking backhand side on that ass. That hey, look here. That that is the most. Let me tell you, for a person that got a life sentence and know they got 10 extra years on the backhand side, that means that if a flaw was to happen, Judge Stacy Hydrick already covered. You know her ass, okay? She already did it and made sure this ass just wasn't getting out no damn way. She like, well, anyway, if anything do fuck up, your ass gonna do this for a damn show. Yeah, for a damn show. You gonna get this. And and then he's so damn ignorant that she basically tried to tell his lame ass to take the plea and he still ain't fucking do it. Still ain't do it. How, how the judge going to tell you that it would be in your best interest to take a damn plea and then your weird ass, yeah, your weird ass still going, no, no, I'm going to take it to trial. Huh? And y'all still sad for him. What you sad for? What you sad for? Huh? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you that sad to the point, you know, that you willing, you know, to put up money for an appeal attorney because from the looks of it, Nature Boy supporters are broke as hell. Nature Boy supporters are broke, y'all. Man, look at here, boy. They broke as hell. Boy, y'all been not never talking about me and need three dollars over this motherfucker, boy. Hey, boy, shit. Nature Boy ain't got nothing to show for. He ain't got nothing to show for. This the person that y'all follow. I guess y'all gonna be broke and have a life sentence just like him. Y'all gonna be just like him. Y'all wanted to be like God. This is what God God do dumbass shit. Okay, when when God name is Elysio Bish, God do some dumbass shit. Y'all y'all God that y'all pray to that nigga. That nigga gotta pray to God now. Yeah, that nigga gotta pray to God. I thought he was God. God fucked up. God fucked up, ain't. Duh, God got y'all fucked up. God, God had y'all weird motherfuckers out here. Yeah, in the back of y'all mind, coming over here to this motherfucking channel, thinking it was gonna be a different result. No, God ass fucked up. You and God fucked up. Yeah, God and his stupid ass followers is fucked up. God, God don't know what the hell to do now. God motherfucking ass trying to figure it out. That's what he trying to do. Yeah, that's on him. Mr. Mr. Goddamn know it all. I thought he knew everything. I thought I thought he was your higher self. Your higher your higher self is at his lowest right now. Yo, 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 and hey, look here, your higher self don't know what the fuck gonna happen next. Your higher self don't know if a nigga gonna shank his ass in the chest when he in there sleep. Yo, your higher self, your higher self trying to trying to figure out who the who the who the best barber and shit so he can get shaped up and stuff. Your higher self got to fill out a sick call sheet even when he about to die in that motherfucker. Your higher self is in that motherfucker standing in the chow line waiting to get some shit to eat that's nasty as fuck. That's what your higher self doing. That's your higher thinking. So, so that should tell the rest of you ignorant motherfuckers what's going to happen with your life. Numb skulls, not thinking. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. This is who you follow. This this your man in them, the three guards. Khalil Eating Monster called that nigga the six guard. The six guard, your motherfucker bastard. Uh, tell him again, Bush baby. Talking about some motherfucking support black. You ain't supporting no motherfucking black family. I, you done left your son in every motherfucking thing. Your son probably 14 years old. Long as your ass done been in the damn coat. You ain't thought nothing else about your damn son. And then Malia with her raggedy ass. And if you're talking about supporting a damn coat, you ain't supported your child. Your family supported you even, even when you sit up there and, and had a baby by your damn first cousin. They still supported your weird ass. Scrape the fuck up.
and held shit down. And when your dumb ass went to the coat, they sit there and took care of the little boy. You ain't thought nothing about him, but you out here, poppy this, poppy that. Man, you look like your ass in this motherfucker dreaming about inhaling a motherfucking poppy seed somewhere. You need to snort that motherfucker like one of them old ass boogers you done kept that came up out of club foot nose. You need to snort that bitch. Y'all is high off stupidity. You hear me? Talking about supporting the damn family. That nigga ain't do nothing but separate fucking family. He divided y'all weird ass out this motherfucker thinking I was a goddamn enemy. I ain't your motherfucking enemy. I'm a nigga with a channel that's done had the same content for seven fucking years and that's roasting and reporting y'all ignorant ass and it ain't gonna fucking stop now. It ain't gonna stop. You need to get up, get out, and goddamn get something. Don't don't let the days of your life pass you by. I'm ready to see y'all on some goddamn pictures. Fuck that shit. Don't post no look. Oh, I just came here, picture. No, Aaron, you and Kendra need to be posting pictures. Y'all need to go out to eat. Hit me up. I'll send you a goddamn cash app or something. Y'all need to go get something to eat. Go enjoy yourself. Take some pictures. Show social media. You don't want to show your son. Blot his face out or put an emoji on that motherfucker. Show people that you live in your life. Y'all, y'all better not be sitting back worrying about nature, boy, stupid ass. Fuck him and all that stupid ass shit. Y'all gonna sit up here and let y'all moment die down. I wouldn't let my motherfucking moment die down. My moment been for goddamn seven years, nigga. I make the motherfucking moment. You get me the, the shit. You gonna let that shit die down for what? They gonna be done forgot about y'all ass and nature, boy. And knowing he done goddamn put his club foot in y'all ass and every goddamn thing else. Y'all supposed to be going in on that nigga. What the fuck happened? Much as you be talking, Aaron, your ass need to be talking all the motherfucking day. You need to be talking about all that motherfucking money and how you was getting that money. And, and, and when you was on the go out team and when you was going out and what you was doing, tell us some stories. Did you have sex with some of the Mexican women over there? Did, what, did you hear some Mexican cootie? Like what, what happened? Tell, fill us in. Well, because you wasn't just out that motherfucker eating uh, bean burritos and shit all motherfucking day. Y'all was doing some stuff over there. Yeah, tell everything, man. Just put it out there. Put it out there. This what this what we listening for. Yeah, we want to hear all of the real shit, not the watered down stuff. Come on with it. I just want to see how long it is going to take, man. Yeah, I mean, you ain't got to keep deactivating your account and reactivating your account and all that shit or whatever. Tell us all in one big whop what happened. All in one whop. Mm. Yeah. Man, come on with that shit, man. Hit that motherfucking button and talk about that real shit. Talk about the time when you was on the go-out team and, and, and then Nature Boy, you know what I'm saying, had your baby mom in the room and shit. Well, it could have been me because I would have been on the go-out team going out to go get me a pistol and come back and serve all y'all niggas. I would have been, I would have been G checking all y'all. I Man, get the fuck on the ground, all y'all niggas. Get on the ground. Yeah, bring your bitch ass over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get, get the fuck on the ground. And they did, and, and then if a motherfucker would have looked like they would have been, yeah, they would have been stuck or glued to the ground. I would have licked the shot in the ground <laughs> real quick on them. Get on the goddamn ground, straight like that. Okay, now anyway, bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck wrong? I would have, I would have been aired. I would have goddamn went in there. I would have grabbed Kendra. The fuck kind of shit you went, man? I would have blanked out my mind in that motherfucker, man. The way in the hill, I'm going to be letting up this nigga with this power bottom. This nigga built like a goddamn size motherfucking three and a half Teletubby and shit. This nigga three feet goddamn inches and shit. Teletubby goddamn universe style and shit. Yeah, he one of them Toy Story characters and y'all going to let this nigga, yeah, motherfucker tell y'all what to do. I'm still waiting to hear this shit right here. I want to hear this shit. I want to hear, like, what the fuck that was like. Like, when he was up there smashing it and shit, like, what was you thinking? Man, I want to hit Velvet. What was you thinking? Like, what was going on? Man, I could have smashed her. Like, what What the fuck? Y'all supposed to have, like, an even trade or some shit. Or, you feel what I'm saying? I'd have been like, well, man, if you're going to be doing that, I'm going to have to be fucking Aya or something. Well, if I ain't fucking Aya, then I'm at least fucking Zoka. Well, I mean, well, can I at least get my shit sucked? Because... I would have been like, fuck that. I mean, on some real nigga shit. Like, I mean, you playing the chief and shit, my nigga, but I got to get my shit straight. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like, and if them niggas would have been on some fuck nigga shit, I'm just, yeah, then get him, jump him. Yeah, you know what I would have did? I would have stole off on one of y'all niggas and ran out the house. 
straight up and ran out the house all the way up the goddamn street. Once we would have got out, do something now, then nigga. Somebody gonna see it. Let's fight out this. I would have fought all y'all bitch ass niggas because y'all niggas is hoes. Y'all niggas is hoes. Ain't no, ain't no way, A, when you supposed to let that nigga try you like that, man. You done been in the military and everything. G.I. Joe, nigga, you should have ran up out that motherfucker and ran between that other house and jumped over the goddamn fence and kept going and got to the nearest phone and called your motherfucking uncle and his friend and his other drunk-ass friend that been at the store. Y'all should have went over there and whooped that motherfucking ass. That's what y'all was supposed to do. Straight up. And you know, I've been saying this shit for a minute. Jump. Y'all didn't want to jump. He gone now, so jump into that real shit. Jump into all of the shit that you wanted to say and that you were prevented from saying because you felt like that if you would have said so, that he would have then used the things that he claimed to have blackmailed you all with. Talk about it now. He can't do it now. Remember, lawyer took the hard drives, right? That's what I'm, you could talk about everything now. I want y'all to get into all of it. You feel what I'm saying? Hmm. Man, you feel me, Shell? You from Georgia, too. Man, you supposed to call your man and then been like, hey, man, bro, man, y'all come over here, man. Y'all come up. Man, I wish I did. Man, look at here, bro. If I had any, man, let it be some old other shit jump off. That man ain't no way in the hell, man. You, you can't pick up the phone and call nobody? Man, get the fuck out of here, yo. Hell, yeah, that's how good that shit got, MJ. I had to. I had to. Yeah, but I'm just saying, though, man. It, it, and it's just like, you know, like when you think about it, and you, 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 you put this in terms of like your cousin, nephew, or, you know, sister, brother or whatever. And then you just start, you know, just assessing everything and say, oh, no, nah, I ain't no way in the hell my nephew would win for no shit like that. That's why most people just sit back and watch this because, you know, your family members, you got some stupid motherfuckers in your family. You got some real dumb motherfuckers in your family, but they ain't dumb enough to join the motherfucking cult and listen to a motherfucker like Nature Boy anyway. I can see that motherfucker that was on surviving the twin flames and shit. That motherfucker had shit set up, had people with businesses, money in the whole nine. What what melanated woman going to be listening to a nigga talking that ain't got no damn money? I'm just trying to figure this. What is going on in 2024? What the fuck is going on? Like, what What did he promise y'all? Like, I don't understand. Like, can you get to that part? What What were you supposed to, was it supposed to have been like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or something? Like, I don't get it. What were you supposed to receive? Or was it just the internet cloud or whatever? That's the part I want to get to. I want to get to the real shit. Can we get to the real shit? Just, just for a little bit. And like I said, by all means, you don't have to come to this channel because you probably don't like me. And because the majority of y'all got soft ass skin any damn way. Ain't a, it, it, like I say, these young people back of this era and time, they just softer than a motherfucker. Oh, no, because he, no, because he did this. And that's why I don't like him, because he said, man, motherfucker, nature boy done said worse shit about all y'all motherfuckers. So don't even come with that weird shit. But I'm just, that's why I don't like him. Well, I don't give a fuck. You don't supposed to like nature boy ass either. You feel what I'm saying? The fuck? I ain't him. I ain't the one that abused. I ain't the one that play. I ain't the one that lied. To. I ain't the one that shitted on. I ain't the one that played wife swap with you and your girlfriend or boyfriend. I ain't the one that did that. So you can't get mad at me. I wasn't the Jim Jones of this shit like he was. That's the nigga you supposed to be getting at. That's what you supposed to be saying. You know what? You, you know what, man? King World got a point. He got a point, though. Like, straight up. That nigga did shit on us. He did tell us not to listen to him. And since I've been listening to him, he ain't been saying nothing but some real shit. That's when you come to the point of accountability. That's all I'm telling but see, I guess King World is like a parent or some shit or whatever. And see, they wanted to be rebellious to their parents and stuff. Yeah, they wanted to buck that system. They didn't want to fall in line and do what their family suggested or recommended for them to do. So then they did the latter, which was to join the damn cult. So I get it. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, hopefully one day, man, y'all tell your story and stuff always going to probably end like how it is going to end because he's never gotten the the help. He's never admitted to what he truly was and he never got help for that. And in the same breath, he wanted to try to bring up his past and make it seem like it was worse than what he yeah. even wanted to try to find out the, the real truth about. I don't know if he really knew 
all the ins and outs about his mom, his dad, you know, or whatever, but he wanted to try to connect with people, pull on their heartstrings to make it seem like he came from this rough upbringing and this uh, Babylon or whatever. This is the what raised him and made him what he is, the, the product of what, you know, like he's the product of his environment or whatever. And this is what a man is supposed to be. Like he wanted to try to pull on the heartstrings of different people in different environments that were probably going through some of the same things that he possibly either went through, like in the foster care system, who, who knows, or whatever, to try to draw those people in. Yeah. It was yeah. on his part, it wasn't to be. Exactly. And I want to add on right there what she was saying as far as pulling on the heartstrings of people is just like the average pastor or preacher who may have ill intentions because not all of them do this but it's as if that they'll say a certain thing to relate to you know the attendees of the church in order to build up followers as if you know gas the price of gas you know had raised and you know heightened and soared to the point that the pastor then in some way, you know, some kind of semantics he'll use just to be able to throw gas prices in there or something about crude oil just to be able to get people's attention. And that would be that one thing, you know, that would, you know, draw them in. And that's what Nature Boy was doing in reference to the stuff that he had went through as if we had went through that shit. Him talking about insects and they had roaches. Who the fuck didn't have roaches when they were growing up? I, I mean, I don't know too many motherfuckers that didn't have if your ass grew up like I did in the motherfucking 80s, but hey, but anyway, but millennials and, and people that was newly born, you know, that came into this world, they parents probably had more efficient ways to get rid of roaches. No motherfucker, I ate roaches. I ate cereal with roaches and the motherfuckers and every goddamn thing. After I done been eating cereal, done seen a goddamn wing when I was little and just plucked the motherfucker up out of there and kept on going. Yeah, you can't talk about no hard times, nigga. Like, straight the fuck up. We had one heater in the goddamn house. Had kerosene heaters at times. Even my grandma would even trip and tell us not to have the kerosene on that much. House smelling like kerosene and everything. Nigga, you ain't, you ain't been through no real shit before. And I know you ain't because you never spoke on it. You never gave your testimony. You fabricated a lifestyle into younger people that was fair seeming. You made it out to be cool. It ain't nothing about stripping as a damn male exotic dancer. And no one should ever found that to be a goal that they should have strived for at all. Okay. With all of the information that's been produced, you can't just disappear that or ignore that and then act as if that that stuff did not happen. Now, if you are one of the people that, that can say, oh, well, I didn't know that. Well, then once you found that stuff out, why didn't you then say, you know what, this ain't this ain't for me. This ain't for me. If this if this is how this person, you know, chooses to live their lifestyle, I get it. I understand it. But this does not resonate with me. You know, I wasn't raised this way. And you have to understand, too, like within this era and time, they've did every imaginable thing in every imaginable way. They've made an attempt in order to normalize certain sexual behaviors and patterns. They've used people like this person to make it seem as if that certain customs were appropriate and the way to deal with women were appropriate. You can't get on this bitch and tell me that your grandpa or, or your grandma was in no damn polygamous relationship. You cannot run that shit with me. And you know that East Indian as Vedic as practice that was colonized by the Romans is some shit that was indoctrinated and engraved within the heads of individuals only because they didn't want to live the legitimate customary ways that we were prone to in this fucking country. OK, motherfuckers wanted to do everything except for the right fucking thing. I done been a teenager. I done been young and young minded before, too. But you can't just fucking escape some shit. You got to deal with it. And see, that's the thing with him and damn near everybody that came around him, whether they want to admit that shit or not. Your ass was running from something. It was something that led you to this clown right here. And it was not off of your best fucking thinking. Trust and believe. 
you was going through some shit. You was going through some shit and you were taken advantage of. You were abused. That's what happened. Whether you want to play semantics only with words you heard this nigga say or not, your ass was abused. You got took fast and you know that you did. You know, and you know that you did. It's some motherfuckers still ain't woke up yet. They don't even want to accept accountability with knowing what the hell that they did and what they were subject to even listening to this clown. They'll do everything in the world right now except admit, yeah, I did some, I did some dumb ass shit. Yeah, I did some dumb ass shit. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? But but I make it seem like, oh, when I go on somebody's panel, yeah, it's because of my experience in the cult. No, nah, it ain't because of your experience in no fucking cult. Because if that's the fucking case, your ass will be at the fucking recreation center talking about this shit for free. Your ass will be at the battered women's shelter talking about this shit, helping out some women that really need some fucking help. That's what you would be doing. It wouldn't be nobody talking about they about to start a fucking YouTube channel and some shit like that because it got to do with carbonation. No, it had everything to do with you wanting to restore and help fallen humanity. That's what the fuck this is supposed to be for. Straight up. You think I gave a damn all these years? People don't talk cash shit, of shit to me and about me. Oh, you love nature, boy. Oh, that's all you talk. Yep, I sure the fuck do. And we'll motherfucking continue to because I know you clown niggas dislike it so fucking much. So if you dislike me because I've made an attempt to prevent, thwart, and to stop people from joining the cult, man, get your motherfucking dislike on. Get your dislike on. But all of that disagreeable energy that's encompassing you is for a nigga that got a life sentence. So take your weird ass in there with him. Take your weird ass in there with him and argue about Babylon and every damn thing else because his ass is in a Babylon prison. He ain't in no B6 prison. That's a Babylon motherfucking prison. That ain't no holographic motherfucking prison. It ain't a holographic institution. No, he in prison. Straight up. And his wives... Lame ass Juju Jacks, do rag with her man looking ass. Can't man one of y'all change that shit. That girl with all them lame ass printed out pictures she got stapled and taped on her wall and shit. Yeah, man, that shit ain't gonna do that. Y'all, y'all weird motherfuckers. It's gonna be five years from now. Y'all dumb ass still gonna be talking about the three is coming home. And, and by the end, I've been untrading my car. Cash should be older. <laughs> I probably done grew my hair back, some old other shit. It probably, man, it's going to be a long time for then. And y'all still going to be stuck in the same state of mind. You're not going to elevate. Man, I'll probably be done bought me another lawnmower before then, fucking with y'all. Straight up. You can't show me a goddamn thing other than the follies that y'all have been a part of on social media. Matter of fact, I've been done bought me goddamn another weed eater before then, fucking with y'all. You hit Don't get mad at that. Don't get mad at the people that supported me. See, when you support me, I, I done showed you what the hell I did. You fit scray like that. I can show you a whole wall of shit. You fit scray like that. Don't get upset because Nature Boy took your goddamn big old beans and, and bought Airbnbs and shit, and they ain't do nothing but record themselves on the internet and make more money off your motherfucking money. Don't get mad at me. Yeah, no, nah, uh -uh. I wouldn't do my supporters like that. I wouldn't do them like that. I can't do them like that. Hell no. And people that fuck with me, they already know what it is. I'm going to keep it all the way one million with you. Yeah. Shit, man. Just like, man, ask, ask, ask the Kulu. Ask Kulu live streaming. Ask his wife, um, Zoe. She'll tell you. She'll tell you off the gate. Like, man, look, when Rashawn Jamal got locked up, man, ain't none of them people help his ass out. That funny ass lift talking uh, 25 cent arcade game playing ass nigga named Arcades. That nigga ain't do nothing. Talking about some damn. Oh, cause they went to Rashad Jamal. Man, nigga, I wouldn't. I wish, man, look here, man. If that man would have told me he was going to that motherfucker, man, we would have been in that bitch. And y'all wouldn't have did a motherfucking thing. Nothing. Just like y'all ain't do shit for his lame ass now. That's why he in there broke his head. His wife with them reject ass live streams up there crying, talking about how they treating him and mistreat. Man, we don't give a fuck about how they mistreating him. He mistreated humanity, talking that gay ass kundalini shit out here trying to fabricate some shit, trying to clone motherfucker. Y'all talking about Gucci Man a clone and all Will Smith a clone, Jamie Foxx a clone. No, that nigga a goddamn clone. He cloned y'all weird niggas into thinking some dumb shit. Now all y'all are cloned ass robots. Stupid ass walking around talking about somebody your reflection 
wearing rocks on goddamn crystal wires and shit or whatever. I told you, man, get that copper to a crackhead, man. Let them go. Man, let them go cash that shit in, man. They paying good money for that copper. Y'all niggas is using rocks and wrapping it around the goddamn copper and wearing it like it's supposed to be some instrumental figurine that's supposed to align you with some type of deity or deific power or whatever. Man, that shit ain't doing shit for your stupid ass. Just like that sage ain't doing shit. That stinking ass shit ain't doing nothing but fucking up the guy goddamn energy in your house buying some guy what the fuck to say the sage ain't did a goddamn thing if that was the case when they was ku klux and our ass back in the day motherfuckers would have been burning sage and waving it in front of their ass with them goddamn pillowcases on y'all ain't even do that now you niggas in this era of time talking about ordering some sage it's supposed to block out man shut your stupid ass up you more afraid you more afraid of your own goddamn people than you afraid of some demons. Niggas will be staying right in the middle of the goddamn hood where niggas are shooting 24 hours a day, playing loud ass music. Goddamn 16, 12 inch subwoofers in the back of a goddamn old ass 1986 Caprice riding around. But you scared of some spirits. Y'all is the most softest, weird, yellow belly, spineless ass motherfuckers I done ever seen before. Clown niggas. Straight up, that aunt don't none of that weird ass shit protect the motherfucking thing. That's why y'all at this bitch confused now. All y'all punk ass leaders gone polite bitch ass, fucked up, Rashad, lame ass, up under the goddamn bottom of a bridge, troll up under the bridge looking ass, goddamn tadpole looking ass wife. Ain't man, one of you motherfuckers can get out here and say shit. You can't say a goddamn thing. None of you fake ass niggas with all that lame ass knowledge y'all niggas been talking about. That shit ain't do shit but send niggas to prison. Anybody out here propagating that stupid ass shit, I hope your lame ass go too. And when your dumb ass go, I'm going to be on live talking about your stupid, silly, sorry, goddamn Eddie Spaghetti ass just for even believing in that fucking mumbo jumbo dumb ass shit that still you got allegiance to that you want to protect motherfuckers and burn sage and wear all these weird ass clothes and shit throw all that stupid ass shit away stop fucking with it you want to tap back into the same shit that had your ass mentally enslaved for what for what niggas ain't woke up yet what the fuck? Yeah, all this shit. What was all this shit for? All this, all this goddamn social programming and shit that y'all into and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the, behind this nigga here? This nigga here? Fuck y'all up like, man, this shit crazy, man. Yeah, man, y'all can't never get out here talking about Jesus or no damn body. Y'all just as dumb as a motherfucker for believing in this clown. How you gonna talk about a motherfucker going to church and y'all believed in a clown, pathetic ass nigga claiming to be out in nature to stay in a goddamn Airbnb? Y'all is the stupidest motherfuckers I done seen on the internet. And I'm telling you that motherfucking shit. And you can't motherfucking stand on it. You, can, you, can't, you can't stand on it. You're not. And you know you stupid as a motherfucker for listening to it. Now it's lights out. Now you ain't got nothing. Why you ain't got nothing to say now? Because the hype done died down. That's why you ain't got nothing to say about nature. What? Is that what it is? Yeah. Hype died down, did it? Is that what it is? Why, why people ain't on their platforms talking about the shit now? So when it's a trending topic, everybody want to talk about it. Everybody want to get thousands. Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my live stream jumping. Oh, shit. I got a special. Where them, man, where them special guests at now? Huh? Them special guests can't do nothing but what nature boy done taught them. And, and that's to get on the internet. That's it. That's it. When Icy Smokes left that motherfucking coat, he wasn't on no damn internet. When, when Armand Palmer, a.k.a. AP Cadence, when he left that motherfucker, he wasn't on no internet. You ain't seen Pisces keep going fucking live over and fucking over again because he was done with the shit. That's what that means when you, when you done. When you done, you don't fuck with it no more. Period. Period. That's what, that's what that is. Don't try to keep this shit alive. Don't keep, oh, now I'm going to wait two months. Oh, let me come out here and then. What, what you got to say? What you got to say? Because if you ain't saying nothing when you talking, we don't even need to be fucking listening no way. Now, Nature Boy got a life sentence. Not now one of y'all want to say shit about Mama Dia. Not nothing. Nothing. You still scared. You still running. You don't want to accept. You don't want to take no accountability. Why you can't talk about that? 
<gasps> we don't we don't heard the back and forth rendition from Rambo and Serenity. We don't, we don't already heard that. What happened? It ain't another vantage point. Or do I have to play the live stream when I interview flow and vibes and they told me what the fuck happened for people that don't fucking know? Huh? I'm just saying. The nigga gone now. He got a life sent. What you scared of? What you what you, what you scared to talk about? Mm. What are you afraid to talk about? What's that motherfucking convicting that's preventing you to go all the way to fuck in? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure it out. You say play that shit. I might play that shit one day. I might play that shit, man. Yeah, I might play that shit one day. I got to title them videos like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, just so that we'll have proper explanation of this shit because it's too much gaps up in it. So I have to do a live stream and say, <laughs> when King World talked to Flow and Vibes and what they told me about Mama Dia, <laughs> that'll be the title of that motherfucker. Yeah. That that'll be the that that that'll be the motherfucking title. You hear me? So like, I give you a sneak peek of it though, just so you don't think I'm bullshit and nothing like that. But yeah, that that'll be the title of that shit. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be like that right there. Hold on, hold on. So he basically just so he basically just came to you and said you and Rambo gonna have to take gonna have to take her to you know the morgue or whatever. Yeah, basically. So he didn't call he didn't call he didn't call the cops he didn't call nobody and say well hey. This happened here, like at this time, uh -huh. you know, I, I believe this. I need an uh, ambulance here, like right now. He didn't say none of that. Yeah, that was the initial thing we did. We went to the neighbors because they don't obviously got 911. Uh, if we, they do, we don't know how to call it. So we went to the neighbor's house and we had to get the number and he called the ambulance for us. But we actually went See, and met. I play it one day. I play it one day. Um, we talk about that. It was blocking the roads. It was so yeah, a bunch of motherfucker videos. A, a bunch of the motherfuckers, okay? So it, this ain't a thing like we waiting on y'all to go live and explain some shit because I can get to explaining a whole bunch of shit with videos that's done been archived. A bunch of shit. I just wanted to see if y'all were going to talk about it. Yeah, because he told me. Some people probably don't remember what he told me because it's done been goddamn six years ago. But hey, I'm just saying. We got the receipts on dick. I just want to see what y'all going to say about it. What, 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 you see what I'm saying? I want to see who's going to try to tell a lie. I want to see who's going to try to, oh, man, I don't, man, I'm just saying it. Was, nah, goddamn. Because he spoke to me, him and his wife, for two hours. Two hours. I could do a live stream without talking, just playing that and that alone. But people that ever question what happened to Mama Dia, Although I've heard people make an attempt to concoct stories based off the interview that I did with her daughter. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And like I say, when it comes down, you know, the mama deal, you, you, you say don't nobody want their murder charge. Exactly. Exactly. Let me just play this a little bit of this. Let me just 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 a little bit of it. Just so you can, you know, what I'm saying you can hear. You know what I'm saying? What you know? What Flo was saying because you know he explained it back then. Yeah, and, yeah, and when I was, I just sit there and listen to the shit. It was like for real. So that's what happened. And he was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, and this is what happened with the body, and this was, you know what I'm saying? The whole shit. Let's go, man. Let's go. Some protest shit going on, and. I, me and Rambo was up there. We had to get out, and I had to go up there and like scream at the people, like, "Yo, we need to get by, we need to get by, we need to get by." And then um, Rambo went to go speak some Spanish, and um, who was in the car? True stayed in the car. Sheba was in the car. See, and, see. Uh, me and Rambo went out to try to get the people to see? move out of the way so the ambulance can get through. See that? See that? See, True was in the car. Sheba was in the car. You see what I'm saying? So why we can't talk about that? Like it's over with now. It's it's over with now. You know what I'm saying? This done been a minute. This should be the time right now where y'all is going in about it. So what really happened, y'all? Do about it. It was like you gotta take a back. There's nothing that, that we can do about it. And then y'all gotta go to the autopsy and get that handled. So 
that's when everything transpired about us taking them back and then going out to handle the autopsy stuff. That's crazy. So, I mean, like, at any time, you didn't just, like, suspect, just, like, damn, why wouldn't, you know, do be, like, more enthused, you know, with wanting to take care of this as opposed to just saying, you know, I need y'all to go and handle this shit or whatever. It ain't, I mean, it ain't never, like, you know, like, come to you, like, why is he just, like, just calm with this shit or whatever? You understand what I'm saying? Because if somebody passed, whether they were connected to you or just somebody that you knew, I would, you know, even at that point, feel some type of way. And I understand the females that were present, the feminine, the, the, the feminine energy that was present. I acknowledge, you know, that at times of death, as it befalls, there's usually, you know, some tears that come out of that. I, you know, like on every movie, like on every, you know, even through comedy, if you have tears yeah. or whatever. Right, like, basketball, everybody. Why nobody wasn't crying, y'all? Why would nobody shed no tears for Mama Dia if she was such a great person, and if that befell her? And I'm sure there's not one person right now that can say that they don't wish death on somebody and stuff like that. Like, even if you just said it in anger or whatever, man, you don't want nothing like that to happen to nobody. You don't want that shit to happen, man. Like straight up, man. You don't. Shit like that come back on you. So if you don't want something like that to happen, if you are a leader of a tribe of people before he was saying that it was somewhat of a cult, he self-proclaimed that, you would think that he would be responsible for that. So he would want to make that right. But no, he didn't want to make that right because he dumped all of that on them. He gave them the responsibility then. No, y'all go ahead and then take it to the mo a dead body. Y'all go ahead and then take a, yeah, man, nah, I don't want to, nah, man, just, yeah, you go ahead and do it. You go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? You go hard and, yeah, 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 you you go ahead and stuff, man. Yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't I, nah, 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 I'm scared. I'm scared of the dead. I'm, no, you go ahead. Uh, It may be something that I did and stuff, and so I don't want them to connect me to it Andy with all type of motherfuckers had them tears yeah but nobody yeah. emoted how that went we was all at shock right at first and um the person who started speaking up like yo 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 like what the oh yeah with uh it was a uh, natural uh natural right. was actually the closest one to her and like the one right. that, you know always talked to her the most you know what i'm saying like I was cool right. with her, but it wasn't like, I wasn't like how natural was. Natural, because they both spoke Spanish, and, you know, she from Honduras, and, you know, he knew Spanish, you know, so they had, like, a different bond, you know, and he was the one that was like, yeah, 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 yo, I was trying to just keep it together, because I personally had to do it, and he gave a speech right after telling Natural to calm down, saying, like, death is not real, like, you know, she in a different place now, you know. She wide awake in another reality, stuff like that to try to, try to you know, um, dim down the emotions that were going on and present at the time, you know. So, it was, yeah, it was a lot of emotions going on. <laughs> and it was, and for for him personally, for Nature Boy, it was more so like, oh shit, how is the media gonna see this? Like, like, oh fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a, like, you know, he wasn't crying. He was more so focused on how the people was going to perceive the shit and, you know, how, I guess, whatever he told her, or how he felt fucked up about the situation. That's something that he was dealing with on his own, you know? So that was the speech that was said, you know, how, you know, death is not real, you know, that, that kind of thing. All of that shit, right. That's, it was right. kind of. Death wasn't real. With that. Through death the wasn't real. That's what, that's what he was telling them and stuff. You know what I'm saying? This woman had lost her life and stuff, but death ain't real and stuff. You see, you see why Nature Boy deserved to have a life sentence for even doing stuff like this. That that's just not acceptable. And then you have to think if the if if she would have been your aunt, she would have been your auntie or your mom's or your cousin for that matter. How you would have took that if somebody would have did that and still just be on the internet going live and claiming they God and talking about that, you know, he got three and four and five wives and stuff like that. How would you feel about that shit? Huh? Because I would feel some kind of way. And I think I would be on some 
he what was buddy Liam Nelson? I'd be on some Liam Nelson shit trying to find his ass. Straight up. I said, I shit, but I wake up at about three o'clock in the morning. I go to bed at about five o'clock. <laughs> when I get back up, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy, I wouldn't give a damn if that nigga stayed 16 hours away. We wouldn't wait. We wouldn't wait. Yeah, either that or it's a flight one. It's one or the other because now nah, you don't do no stuff like that. You he would have had to explain that stuff to me. Like not my mama? No, you would have had to explain that, Jack. No, nah, I would have had to look at his eyes. He would have had to tell me, yeah, no. And if any kind of way he would have cut his eyes or looked down, I would have, I do okay. On his mouth, right in his chest, I do. I would have. I'm trying I think we can all up in his motherfucking shit. I ain't playing because that's no man. No. And to this day, nobody wanna talk about it. Why don't nobody want to talk about it? Huh? Yo. I'm just saying, man. Yeah. But I'm just saying, though, Jim, he gone now. So, I mean, it's no way that they can be implicated because none of them were the people that was involved in her untimely demise. That's why those people were able to take her, put her in the van. and They, they didn't have nothing to do with it. The person that had something to do with it wasn't there. That's the person that portrayed, you know, to not. You know what I'm saying? Been phased by it or whatever. He got each of the members to stand up and to give their account of on how great that her life was. And that was explained through the interview that I did with him, too. And he said, because I asked him, I said, well, what was up with that, man? I was like, why? Why everybody was looking with their eyes glazed over and stuff? And he said it then. He said nature boy wanted them to do that and it was not at the time that this happened this was hours after that yeah so that means they brought her dead body back to the damn camp and the dead body was wherever because i ain't even asked where she was placed at but while that they was on the damn live stream talking about how good of a person she was she was somewhere lifeless that's how cold that this person is. A person for years that I have been a strong advocate with disliking for this main reason right here. Not just him putting my name on the shooting target, but this shit right here that I knew one day, I knew one day that somebody was going to say something. And see, when Flo, when I spoke to him, trust and believe me, the sex cult leader, and people that were haters of my channel and the Beam Team movement, they chose not to screen record that, but they would screen record everything that had to do with Nature Boy. They would use Nature Boy's videos for clout to get them views on their channel, but when the truth was dropped and when the interview was done, they didn't want to screen record that. They didn't want to play that, just like Nature Boy's sister when she came over here and told the damn truth on who the fuck he is and where the fuck he came from. That should have been on every channel because it got to do with Nature Boy, the person who everybody was motherfucking talking about when it was a trending topic. Think about it. Hmm? Wonder why not? Why it wasn't on every channel? Uh, I'm just saying, when the truth was dropped, it ain't like I'm the only content creator she done only spoke to. But I think with the stuff that came out of that interview, yeah, it might have been the first time that anybody heard that shit. And that's the stuff that I'm talking about. You say I'm making too much sense. OK, I'm going to stop talking this shit. I, you know what I'm saying? I got videos for days and shit. You hear me? So I, I, I slow down. You know what I'm saying? On my, on my, on my talking and, and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I get back to club for, hold on. Give me just one second. Yeah. Let me, let me move on over to the other second. Yeah, man, Diane, you hear me? That's crazy. But they allowed for the, for the moment to die down though. They didn't capitalize off of the opportunity. I told him to go to them large platforms. I told him, you know, go to Club Shay Shay. I told him, like, go to the Lord Vlad TV. 
go to those channels like that aside from this little small ass sector of youtube of people that know who he is see the people when you seen it was a thousand people when the shit was going on through the trial it was people that wanted to see the trial because they were interested in him they were interested those were supporters of nature Boy, whether you know it or not that's why they asked not here right now they expected for it to be a different outcome they wanted somewhere where they could see the trial being streamed. Many of those people were, in fact, silent supporters, people that don't want to admit that they sent their money to Nature Boy when his ass was on Bigo, cash apps, and the whole nine. Th them same people are the people now that got to sit back and just think about. They did that thinking that it was going to be something good that was going to come out of it and actually thinking that he was a good person. How the fuck can he be a good person if his sister was in a situation and then he going to damn try to compromise her, just compromise her dignity at a fucking hole and participate in incest and, and have his damn sister wearing some fucking head wrap like she wanted a costume uh, jungle flunkies and shit. Come on, man. You did that. Keep it real. You did. You supported him. You know you supported him. You support. So now that the truth then came out about your God, why you can't stand on that? Come on over here and tell me about. Tell me about how you would support Nature Boy. Hey, hey, hey. The, you got the floor. I invite anybody up. Come and tell me about. It. Come and tell me how you were sending them hundred and two hundred dollars when he was getting all them beans and stuff. When you was helping him live that lifestyle where he was participatory with abusing those women. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Don't wait till my live stream over and jump in the comments and leave little sideways comment. I invite you up. Because if you upset with me, you feel some kind of way about me, that means that you in support of him. I ain't never been in support of him. You know what my stance is. <laughs> I, I, I done had this stance from day one, and it didn't have nothing to do with disliking him as a person. It had everything in character, what I seen, and the abuse that took place with those women, and the untimely demise of a couple people and people that disappeared that we no longer know of and haven't heard from. That was my issue with that dude. People scarred to this day, like Pocahontas and Yaya, just don't want nothing to do with nothing. Just think about out of all of the people you done seen on somebody panel talking about nature boy and carbonation all the way down to his baby mama. Just think if Yaya was to get out here and to say something about that experience after as long as what the fuck that it's done been because that don't make a damn. It still has relevance. You see how much that he illy impacted her life that she just disappeared. Shut the social media down. That came from a person wholeheartedly that believed in this person, believed in the things that he was saying. And once they found out that it was all a lie, they were destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. You see what the truth will do for you? And some people that deal with the truth and once it's revealed, it miraculously changed their fucking life, yo. Change their whole life. The truth do. The tr and, and sometimes the truth stagnate people. They can't get past it. They can't grow. They, they won't be able to elevate because they won't accept and confess that truth. A lot of people in the cut right now in the shadows living that lie because they were supportive of this demon. That's all the fuck that it is. Supporting this demon. I wouldn't have to wait on there one of them to go fucking lie. My channel been consistently reporting on this cult. No, this channel is about motherfucking King World. So King World is the one that motherfucking be talking over this bitch. It don't have shit to do with whether y'all go live and talk about the nigga ain't get the appeal or not. We already know what the fuck it is. So you ain't got to be shamed. You ain't got to feel no kind of way because I ain't never feel no kind of way except for standing in defense of the truth and for people that was abused by this nigga. Okay, so no, 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 we're not looking, we're not peeking. To be honest with you, we don't give a fuck when you go live. Because I know that you were ashamed. You fell flat on your damn face. That's what happened. You fell flat on your damn face. This was a good idea in the beginning, wasn't it? This was a good idea, wasn't it? 
This is a good idea, wasn't it? Thought this was gonna work, right? Sit up there, sit up there trying to get all them damn bond reductions and bonds in general and wasted all your damn money. Tried to tell your weird ass in the beginning. You didn't even need no attorney. You could have had a public defender for all of that shit that you got Booker with his slow ass to do. I think I think you would have been better off with a public defender to tell you the damn truth. It ain't like Booker don't work for their ass any damn way. They all work together. The fuck? You just paid some money for nothing. You wasted your money. So I understand why you can be upset. I understand why you mad as a motherfucker. I get it. Yeah, and your weird ass followers too. Just threw your damn money away. Yeah, he should have took your ass fast. That's why I say I don't, I don't, I don't blame Booker. I don't blank Booker should have got your ass. Any motherfucker slow like that. Get that motherfucker that you straight up. Yeah, that just showed that y'all are the slowest motherfuckers out here. Like, what what was y'all what did y'all think? What did y'all think was supposed to happen? Did y'all expect like a different result? Or something? Like, tell me that. Like, no, no, seriously. What did you think was supposed to happen? And are y'all still y'all still want to beat up Janae? Y'all still mad at Janae for what? I couldn't be Janae. I'll be posting a picture every 10 minutes at this bitch. I, every, every 10 minutes, I'll be posting a picture because you know that they funky ass is sitting up looking at your Instagram, Janae. They looking at your Instagram every motherfucking moment. Every time they get on Instagram, they looking at your channel. You need to post all kind of pictures. Post pictures even when you busted, when you're looking fucked up. Post them pictures too. They gonna watch them your fans. Them your fans. You you destroyed their God. You, Velvet, Kendra, Brianna, y'all destroyed their God. Y'all supposed to be shining like a diamond. Man, take them pictures. That's why I told you, Ken, you and Aaron, y'all supposed to be going out to eat, having fun. Yeah, go to the mall. Go take some pictures and stuff. Yeah, and post them motherfuckers. Post smile. Don't do no fake smiles. Do real smiles. Yeah, show y'all food and everything else. Let people support y'all that way. Y'all deserve it. You deserve it. To tell you the damn truth, that nigga played the shit up out of y'all. Fucked y'all life up. Y'all don't supposed to be on motherfucking hole. Y'all don't supposed to motherfucking be shutting your shit down and listening to other people talk. Get out here and tell your motherfucking story. And when you tell it, show and prove on they motherfucking ass. Show and prove on them. Go to the store. Go buy your son some clothes and stuff and all that stuff. Record that too. Yeah, po post that for them. That's what it ain't for us. It's for them. It's for them because I, I don't I don't post shit every time I go to the store and shit like that. I ain't got to do that. They don't watch me like that. They only watch me when I go live on YouTube. So I make sure every show is an outstanding show for they ass with they sour ass. Yeah, they they got them cement ass mouth. Yeah, upper lip, goddamn stale as hell. That's why the fuck that I do it. You ain't got a motherfucking thing else to listen. What the fuck else you gonna listen to? You can't scroll for so motherfucking long till your goddamn thumb get numb. Once your thumb get numb, then you got to come and motherfucking listen. Don't try to play it out. But that shit ain't doing nothing but biting your ass like that goddamn super trooper copper probably will biting his ass in that goddamn jail cell. So stop playing. Stop playing. That's what I'm telling you, Janae. You need to be posting them pictures just like how you see Velvet doing. Velvet ain't playing. You supposed to keep doing that shit, Velvet. Post your motherfucking shit. Post your shit. Yeah, post all your shit. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Let the motherfucking haters, let them haters see you. And when you get your crib, you're supposed to post your crib. Yeah, show the inside, all your motherfucking toiletry. I don't give a fuck if you got them, got them from Dollar Tree. It don't make it's your shit. That's what you strive for. Strive to want to do better. That nigga didn't want none one of y'all to do better. He didn't want y'all to do good. If anything, I bet you that nigga silently prayed to one of them fake ass, gay ass East Indian gods and asked them for y'all not to be successful. That's why you got a motherfucking champion your success. Don't ever let a motherfucker try to put you down and hold you down. That's why I'm encouraging you to go on them fucking shows, yo. Straight up. Go on them big boy shows. You ain't got to say I told you a motherfucking thing. Just do that real shit. When them people be doing them documentaries, they be telling everything. They don't be just talking about I was abused. No, they tell you what happened. 
Yeah, they tell you what. Shit, I could, man, I can go in on Yogi Budget right now and show you who the survivors are of Yogi Budget. The first survivors, the first motherfucking coke before the Jim Jones shit and all that shit. Yeah, Jim Jones is the goddamn late 70s. I was born in 78. Jim Jones had the coke the same goddamn year I was born. So, no, 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 we're not talking about Jim Jones. We're talking about Yogi, the person who first started this bullshit, the one that got y'all weird ass out here thinking that you fucking telling somebody fucking, yeah, you reading they fortune, flipping cards and shit or whatever. You niggas ain't read nobody motherfucking fortune. All the times you done played a game of spades, pity pack, motherfucking tongue, gin rummy, five card molly nigga, yeah, all this shit, man. You ain't told shit with them damn cards. That ain't nothing but a Vedic fucking practice. That's all that it is. Some shit that was incorporated within your psyche and it was fashioned by a fake fool's gold ass fucking God. A fucking fool's gold ass God. Like Nature Boy. That's the person that promoted this stuff. He the one that got that shit in your fucking head. They didn't even have to use Brother Polite no more because that nigga agreed to take his shirt off and the majority of you males were mass you were mesmerized, listen to him talk, because you could sit there and watch him with his damn shirt off and tell me that I'm fucking lying. A whole lot of man, you niggas was sitting over there listening to now. No, no, don't try to play it off. Don't try to play it off. But that's what you was doing. I ain't never seen Malcolm X go live with his shirt off. I ain't never seen him speak at no fucking Audubon or no damn where else with his fucking shirt off. He ain't even stand out there in Harlem on the sidewalk with his damn shirt off. I ain't never seen James Evans with his fucking shirt off before. My fucking hero growing up as a goddamn ch I ain't never in my I ain't never even seen James Evans with a tattoo, nigga. This is some stuff that y'all fell into. You got indoctrinated. This look at here, this this East Indian, this East Indian philosophical practices, it went to a higher level all the way from them doing henna art that then correlated over to our Islamic practices and then became permanent scarred tattoos. You became a part of. It, OK, now it's just time for you to write your wrongs and you write in your wrong whenever that you acknowledge that shit. I ain't telling you you wrong for getting no motherfucking tattoo. I'm telling you you wrong with, for not questioning these people and their practices and how they tricked you into marking yourself. That's the fuck I'm telling you. That's they practices, not ours. We ain't never had no shit to fucking mark us. And we were never enslaved, nigga. They, they didn't even know who the fuck we was. They just knew we looked different. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Come on, man. Stand on it. These practices that came from totally different fucking countries are the very same things to this day. That's done enslaved you in the fucking mind. You still think that this shit has been appropriated because of because of motherfuckers like Nature Boy that got on the internet and told you that that shit was right. Told you that that shit was right. Niggas told you not to say something when violence take place in your neighborhood. But them same motherfuckers, if somebody happened to their family members, they going to be the first person to call the damn police. So kill that bullshit, man. Y'all stop that. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not get it misconstrued. Let's not be discombobulated out here, y'all. We got to walk that motherfucking straight and narrow if that's what the fuck we profess to do. All of these fake ass teachers, you, you see where they at now? What was the end result of them? What was what was the end result back in the, back in the, back in the seventies, eighties, and nineties with teachers that was dropping knowledge? Man, you didn't you didn't hear anything about them being arrested or kicked out of countries or kicked off of a plane because they were smelling bad and stuff. You never heard that stuff. Only until that this person came around. And, and, and to board motherfuckers on the internet who were in fact entertained by his follies, those were the people that pushed even further his deviant ways and actions. That's what the hell it is. Y'all push for it. Yeah, a lot of y'all sent Nature Boy to jail to tell you the truth. Y'all sent Nature Boy to jail because Nature Boy felt like he had to put that shoe polish on his goddamn face and get out here and act a plum damn fool with them idiotic all the way in Asia, different directions on the freeway, interstate roads and highways and shit brains he had in his hair. That's why he went crazy. 
That's why he went crazy. I knew as a child, my mama told me, don't ever let two people touch your hair at the same damn time. You had three women. One woman washing your face, cleaning your ear, picking boogers out your nose, probably wiping your ass when you were deprecating and, and carrying on. And who, now, who knows? But you broke all of those sacred passed down within the hood generation to generation not generational curse but generation to generation that was passed down to us i'm just here for the restoration of your motherfucking sanity that's all stop going against what your grandma told you your grandma ain't never told you a motherfucking thing about no astrology tapestry no motherfucking sage or none of that weird ass shit stop playing with me right now your grandma ain't never told you no stupid ass shit like that to go sit and meditate for what go sit your ass down somewhere that was that what she told you she ain't tell you to go meditate see y'all done accepted them east indian practices that's what happened to you you done got caught up in foreign mysticism. That's all the fuck that it is. Don't get upset about it. You can take that onk and sling that bitch out the window. When you ride down the street, sling that bitch all the way back over there. Sling that bitch back to Egypt. That's what you do because it ain't doing shit for you. That shit ain't doing shit for you. You or black power or, or anything that got anything to do with that shit. It's about us. None of those movements were successful, nor did they work. None of them worked. You know what's going to work? We got to work together. That's what work is. Work ain't just one motherfucking person. Yeah, we got to work together. Fuck our indifferences. We got to be able to work together to be able to reach whatever goals that we set for ourselves. Not, not some old superficial ass indoctrination. Come on, man. Don't nobody want to hear that, man. Go, go write a pilot for a movie or some shit with all that weird stuff. Yeah, talk about it over there. You send it to Tyler. Tyler listen to it. Tyler got them make a show up out of it like he made Ruthless off Carbonation. Tyler do it. Tyler do it. So you mean tell me everybody that motherfucker so excited with Nature Boy going to, to going to prison, but you were not excited to see the correlation and the relation in general to Carbonation and the characters on Ruthless? You were not excited about that? That's some shit right there. That's some shit. I bet you Tyler Perry still gonna be pumping that. Uh huh. You know why? Cause I'm waiting on next. I'm waiting on Thursday so I can see what the fuck happened. Cause I can tell you what I think gonna happen all fucking ready. Just because I know, I just just because of somebody like Tyler Perry. Just because of Tyler Perry, and I bet you, I bet when 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 I seen old boy get that gun to his girl. I already knew what the fuck it was. I already knew what it was. When he was in that car with that girl, when they had that newspaper on that damn Buick, when they were sitting in that car, I said then, I said, well, I said God damn, what the hell he do that for? I said, what'd he do that for? What'd he do that for? Uh, watch. Watch. They had the gun on the highest, on Daikon. Man, look at here, man. If it would have been me, and all them people would have been in there and they followed the highest. Man, look at here. I wouldn't have did it like that. I would have popped his ass in the foot off the gate. It's real, nigga. It's real. Let's go. Everybody get down. Everybody get down. Everybody get the fuck down. We can get this bread and we gone. Tie them niggas up. Matter of fact, y'all niggas tie each other up. I tie the last nigga up. Tie everybody, tie each other up by this motherfucker. It's great like that. And after I get all of the bread, yeah, it's great like that. Man, I put every damn gun nigga that was there in the car with me, nigga. Straight up. Wow, we leaving here. Oh, yeah, we leaving here. I bet we leaving here. Why? Wow, it ain't going to happen like that, y'all. It ain't going to happen like that. I think that dude, the one that Daikon want to have sex with, they had that black button up uh, shirt on and stuff. I don't even know his damn name. But he just an extra and shit. But yeah, I think, I think it's over for him. I think it's over for him. Because his mind ain't all the way in it. His mind ain't in it. And then again, too, old boy, old boy, uh, what's his name? The other, uh, the other big dumb, stupid motherfucker, the one that was messing with uh Zane, the one that uh Zane used that mid hold on, Zane used that medieval too long. Let me show y'all some shit that I found this morning. I said, yo, boy, this is divinely inspired. 
I say this shit divinely inspired out here. How about, well, what I do anyway, every morning, you know, I, I, I be on Twitter. You feel me? Like, I, I be having to see, like, what's happening. You feel me? As far as the entertainment, when it happened, when it first jumped off. And, you know, everything pretty much filtered through Twitter. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, somebody had made a post about that shit, man. I was like, what? Somebody made a whole live post about the instrument, y'all. Yeah, you remember when um, you remember you remember when old girl was telling Zane and shit. Man, they done made a whole post about that shit on that mug, man. And I'm thinking that shit was extra cap, but it's not. It's 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 actually a real thing. It it's a whole live motherfucking real thing. Let me see if I can find this shit. Damn, I wish it had the damn like button. Uh, feature like on damn TikTok because you can find your little videos on TikTok that you hit like. I'm going to give y'all a gem right quick. If you on TikTok, if you on TikTok, right, and, 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 and you just so happen to be doing something and miss and swipe your phone and then the post and shit gone or whatever. Yeah, if the post and shit gone or whatever, I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you how that you can pull up your history on TikTok. The only thing you got to do is go to your search bar and type in a period and hit search. And everything that you ever looked up, it'll come up. That's a spoiler. You feel me? I could get I could get a whole bunch of views and make a video and do it. But I'd rather just tell y'all about it. Hopefully somebody make a video and do the shit, but that's all you got to do. Just put a fucking period in the damn search and, and, and hit fucking enter and everything you ever looked up. When you scroll down, you will see that shit. Uh, and then you'll be like, oh, I know it's done been time. You done been on TikTok and I've been like, damn, damn, I'm fuck. And then the damn post be gone and shit. That's all you got to do. Try it. Let me know if you had good results. Let me, yeah, let me know. You were trying to figure it out. That's all you got to do. You have good. Just let me know if you had good results. Come back to me and then tell me. And you will see it. You'll be like, yeah, damn. Yeah. See, I could have got about a million views off that shit. <laughs> Hopefully somebody go over there and do that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put a motherfucker on. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you the video will blow up like a motherfucker, boy. Yeah, I was fucking with that shit one day. I was like, hold on. I wonder if this shit command like damn motherfucking MS DOS 1991 and shit. I did that shit. I said, oh, it do. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it is what it is, though, family. But, yo, but listen, though, for real, though, with the sex code leader, Legio Bishop, false imprisonment, the motherfucking teddy bears. Mike Brown and the and the damn Kundalini Yoga. I didn't get to touch too much on the teddy bears, and I will be going deeper uh, within the Kundalini Yoga. You know, I just hope that you know somebody get this message, man. You know, to you know the former members of Carbonation. You know, just so they can see, like, yo, y'all need to just go ahead and do what it do. And I think after doing that, not only will you be relieved, but then you can basically move on with your life. You feel me? And you're going to be helping people out. You know what I'm saying? Once you take the stage and you just keep it real, just cam up, hit that button and just go in. Just go in. That's all you got to do. That's what the people want. That's what the people want to hear. But unfortunately, I don't know if the people be getting acknowledged like I be getting acknowledged because I try to acknowledge all comments whenever that I'm here. If I'm playing a video uh, shit, you might be thinking I'm live, but I might be doing some other shit or whatever. But when I'm live, yeah, any any comment that I see, that's why I always welcome even the carbonation supporters over every now and then. Somebody will slide through and drop a comment like three to three or something, but never will they ask for the link so that they then can give us their perspective on why that they follow Nature Boy. So. That let you know that they cowards like a motherfucker just like him. Yeah, what 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 do you expect? I mean, it was not one hero that came. You feel it was not one hero that was standing there, and the hero would have been the person that would have tried his ass. You hear me? Because I guarantee you, he wouldn't have fought back. He wouldn't have fought back. Yeah, he wouldn't have fought back. I tell you, 
I tell you in closing, I was motherfucking. I was I was twenty, get ready to be twenty one damn years old. I never forget that shit. I man, this shit was wild as fuck, yo. They sent me to an adult spread, and I wasn't even supposed to be there on the damn camp. And uh, it's crazy because I had had words like my second day there with a cat that was bigger than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I had just came from the youth spread and shit, so I was already got them gung-ho anyway. So in reality, I'm like, damn, I know this motherfucker probably can with my damn ass, but I'm about to go the fuck in. So I was sitting on my bed thinking about this shit and a dude had seen me and the dude had words with each other. We had exchanged words. i never forget this shit, man. That dude told me this shit, man. I ain't never looked back. That motherfucker told me, he say, next time you see him, just hit him. I said, what? He say, just hit him. I'm like, hit him? He say, bro, just smack the nigga. I say, smack him? He say, yeah, just smack him. He said it's going to take all the fight up out of him. And when I did it, man, that look here, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Boy, that shit right there. <laughs> boy, that shit took me through my whole beard, man. It was times I wouldn't even punch a motherfucker. I just smack the shit out there. It take the whole fight up out of dick. <laughs> it take the whole fight up out of They don't even want to fight no more because they, they can't believe that you smack the shit out of them. You feel what I'm saying? And you can just unload on they motherfucker. That. Man, I use that shit. I use that shit about four different fights, man. Straight the fuck up. That's all you got to do. I smack a motherfucker and step back. But what? What What now? Motherfucker be sitting there thinking about like, damn, this nigga just smacked you up. Just smacked the shit up out your ass. So I questioned for years. Why they just didn't jump nature, boy? Like straight up. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying, yo. That, and that's exactly what it is, like Clarissa. And that's how I used to be, too. Straight up. While it's taking place, fuck it. It is what it is. Yeah, real Latif, real quick. Re and everybody from my hood know real quick. I ain't going to play no damn game. When I, I look at what Cud told me that, I said, oh, yeah, that's what it is right there. I like that what it is. When I look, when, when they locked us up and when I went to the hole and I thought about this shit, I was like, that nigga was right. I was like, damn, I'm about to try this shit again. <laughs> you feel me? And I tried it and, it's, and it worked again. Motherfucker was so damn thrown off and discombobulated. Like, damn, he ain't punched. No, I just smacked your motherfucking ass. Yeah, it, 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 I'm telling you, boy, that, that motherfucker put, put a person in a whole different state of mind. Just like when Velvet stole off on nature, boy, with the baby in her arm. You see what I, you see how he was? Oh, man, come on, man. Come on, man. He couldn't even believe. It. He couldn't believe. It. He didn't think she was gonna do that. Yeah, she didn't think. She, look, he didn't think. He ain't think that shit. Velvet stole off on his ass. Well, it was the element of surprise, huh? The element of surprise. I'm talking about that was surprise, surprise. <laughs> Why well, I'm here to tell you, man. Look at, and you know what, Terry? For years. I've been saying that shit too. That shit'll get your mind right. That shit'll get your mind right. All my nephews, all of them know. Yeah. They say he used to slap nigga to slap. I'm telling you, that's all well, I'm telling you, but that's all you gotta do. But that shit right there, boy, it's the whole, it's the mentality, boy, behind that shit right there. That let a motherfucker know you don't care. That mother, that let a motherfucker know you certified if you're going to do that because the common person just going to try to steal off with a punch. No, just, just let them know that it's on. And I honestly feel like if the members of Carbonation would have let Nature Boy ask knew that it was on, they wouldn't have had no more problems up out of them. Just like with me and Buddy, that first nigga. Yeah, he started trying to be cool with me and shit after that. Yeah, straight up bitched his ass up. Yeah, trying to be tough and shit. Just like Nature Boy. And that's how he would have been with them. He would have been cool. Chief would have been cool as hell if y'all would have put that. If y'all would have, if y'all would have manned up to him, he would have been cool as hell, yo. Y'all, y'all had Chief thinking that he was a beast. Yeah, Chief was man, Chief was some bullshit, man. Y'all should have man, it, 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 it was gonna do but take one person. We're gonna do but take one person. And the whole time he was there. The person that he was scared of was the Jax dude, and he a whole lane. He a he a he a, a five foot. He a five foot. Goddamn, I think that nigga like five six and a half. I am so damn serious. So with 
soaking wet, man. Jack, look at him, man. Jack, 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 Jack hit like good reefer, man. He got that. He got remember that. You remember that song that came out? Don't want no short, 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 short man. Remember that song that came out? That nigga is a short, short child. That's what that nigga is. Scraped up, boy. Nature, but he 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 knew the right motherfucker to bring around him, boy. Yeah, man, hell no, man. If I would have knew about nature, boy, if it were any kind of way, I could have got close. Man, I couldn't. Man, let me would have been about damn 25 or 30 some years. Man, I would have been on nature, boy, ass, boy. Oh, for real. Man, I would have took all nature, boy, shit. I ain't even lying to you. I would have been, if I was young like I used to be, man, I would have took all that nigga shit. I would have went over there and turned up with about three more other niggas with me. Yeah, yeah. What you doing? What, what y'all got over there for real? In the tropics, they ain't what was going on. Oh, you ain't trying to share? You got the wives and over here. Shit, we in another country. I would have just grabbed one of them ass in front of them. Word. Yeah, goddamn. What, oh, what you mean, nigga? What you mean? And we would have been on go then. Nigga, shut up, nigga. We would have been in that fucking nature, boy. Ass up. Straight up. Nigga, where, where the shit at, nigga? Y'all got all the PPP loans. Shit, where is that, nigga? Yeah, fuck all the internet. Nigga, where the shit at, nigga? Straight like that. See, he needed somebody to press. He wasn't nobody. Man, that nigga ain't no sick. You you say you thought he was what? Man, I'm six one and a half. I ain't even six two. You ain't see the video. You ain't see how little them niggas is. Man, that nigga, man, look at here, man. I'm this is what I'm telling you. My 13 year old, look at man, my great my 13 year old grandson is taller than that dude. Feet bigger than his too. Him and Juju had on Walmart skippers. Yeah, them niggas can wear each other's shoes and shit. They wear each other's clothes and shit, man. That's how little that dude is, man. Yeah. He, man, Jack's one of them dudes, man, that just did a whole bunch of push-ups. He got a Brutus. He got a Brutus from goddamn uh, Popeye chest. Yeah. You said he was in the house skate. Oh, you was in there then? That shit crazy as a motherfucker. That shit crazy. See, that's the part that I, that, that's what I wanted to know right there in the house. What was he doing? Because I can tell you what the fuck he was doing. Because, right, exactly. And that's what that's what my God has said. He was picking out the blinds and I seen him. And the reason how I seen him, because when his bitch ass was in there, I had another phone and I was looking at Bigo when he was in there talking to Bay, uh, Bay Shade. That's who he was talking to. Yeah, that nigga didn't come outside. I, I, I got out of the car and stood in front of the car. <laughs> Hey look, hey look, I, I told God it's to blow the horn and she blew the horn like three times. I was standing right there and shit. So I went and got back in the car. So I'm just standing there. So I'm like, now this nigga know he know I'm outside this house. I'm like, this nigga know I'm on YouTube. So then the nigga, the door gonna open. So I'm thinking he could really come out. I grabbed a door handle. It's newbie. He come out and shit. So when he come out, then Solar come out behind him. Both of them got their shoes off. So the nigga walk up to my car and shit, right? So I look at the nigga. I'm like, what the fuck? He was like, yo, man. Yo, yo, don't do this out here, man. Don't do this out here. I said, don't do what? I look to the right. The goddamn, the, uh, the lady and her husband and shit had just pulled up. They were standing there looking. <laughs> I was like, oh, hell, yeah, they get rid of the police. I look, I opened the door. I, I, when I got out, the reason I got out, because it looked like Nubia had a knife. It looked like he had a knife on his side. <laughs> So, so when I thought he had a knife, I said, let me get out right quick. Let me see if he'll try to get there. Because in my mind, I was like, boy, if you pull that knife out of this motherfucker, boy, good. God, oh, my. Boy, let's get ready to jump like a goddamn trampoline out this bitch. Yeah, and I'm at the car. I ain't even back in the car or in the trunk. I'm in the, I, at the car. Man, that nigga didn't want to come outside, man. And, and and I wouldn't even, look, I wasn't even going over there with that energy at all. I wasn't going over there to beat him up or no shit like that. I was just going to see what the fuck he was going to say because I was going to ask him off the gate, like, why you put my name on that shooting range target? And then if his, and if his move would have changed, it would have went down. But I knew it wasn't going to be no shit like that. I knew it would. I, I, but I did expect for him to come outside. I expected for him to show his face, but I knew he wasn't going to do shit. No, I knew he was going to, like I told you, my, my people stayed on the street right behind there any goddamn way. So I, I already was on go. So I'm just like, man, you ain't about to do shit to me. You or none of them. I don't give a fuck how many of y'all in the house. <laughs> Straight up. And if that goddamn wouldn't have sealed the deal, I would have been one way to Jimmy Carter.
And I'd be like, no, don't even drive. I'm, I'm gonna pick you up. Cause we go, we can go back over here. We're gonna go right up here on Memorial Drive. Oh, yeah, I'll just got them bridge down here at the end. You know that damn street with a with a motel six set. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be like, you know where it ain't nothing down there, it ain't no stores, it ain't no shit down. We, we're gonna go down there. Straight, you know where the motel is on Memorial Drive. That's where we're going. Yeah, straight like that. No, nah, hell no. Hell no. And, and Solar are gonna come out there looking like a whole zane. That nigga, man, let me tell you, yo. I don't lift no weights. I don't do none of that motherfucking shit no more. I'm, I'm old school. You hear me? I, look here, man. That man came outside. Man, both them niggas is. Man, them niggas' chest look like wet cardboard. That's how small them niggas is. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, boy, I'm t the internet be fucking niggas up. I was like, damn, y'all niggas look like deprived children. Them niggas was, I bet, man, look at here. I bet you his sister was like, damn. I know she was just looking at them niggas like, y'all niggas little as fuck. Man, I wish I could have seen the look on his damn face. Because when I was sitting in the car, when I was sitting in the car, I went back and I got, I, I had got my phone out my cup holder and I had looked at the comments and shit. You feel what I'm saying? So when I looked back up, I looked out the window, I looked at the door, I looked back down, then God had said, look, he peeking out the blinds. I was like, where? She said, he peeking out the blinds right there. I said, what the fuck? I seen that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking fell out laughing, man. I fell the fuck out laughing, man. That was the funniest shit on this earth, man. That nigga dipped. <laughs> he dipped. I'm like, man, cause I, and I'm gonna tell you what window that it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what window it was. If if you facing the door, it was that first window to the right. That's what he looked out at. <laughs> Cause I seen the curtains moving. So then, uh, so then, Goddess was like, uh. Goddess was like, she was like, she was like, be careful. She was like, I I, I see some feet right there. <laughs> and I look, man, them niggas was sitting in the garage with no shoes on. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. And, and it took a minute for them to come out because I was just sitting there. I was just sitting there. And, and then the uh the, the, the uh the neighbors to the right of the house. The the woman and her husband, he was driving. She was on the passenger side when she got out. That's why I just kept sitting there because she was looking like she was going to call the police. I was like, oh, here we go with this shit. I said, here we go. I said, here we go. I said, yeah, I might well just sit here now then because if they going to come, then they going to come in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't even because I know how these motherfuckers be tripping. Like, Georgia crazy, especially with them trying to pull a motherfucker over. And they pull you over in Georgia, just fall out the car with your hands in the air. Cause them motherfucking crazy. Yeah, I don't even fuck with them. I don't fuck with the red dog. I don't fuck with none of them. Oh, no level. I ain't. Tell, hey, tell them, God. Man, shit. Man, that woman, hey, that woman was looking, the way that woman had her, she had a pocketbook on her shoulder, the way she was standing. I couldn't tell what she had. And, and I'm like, she ain't got no gun. And I was like, she holding that phone. That's what she doing. I was like, well, she get ready to she get ready to push the button. <laughs> she get ready to push the button. <laughs> and then the shit was so crazy. It man, gotta tell him, we wasn't even going over there. We wasn't even going over there. I was live. And, and where did we? I think we were, I think we went to Slutty Vegan or some shit. And uh, somebody was like, somebody put in the comments. I was sitting in the car, and somebody was like, "You better not let Nature Boy know you in Georgia." I said, "What?" I said, "Yo," <laughs> I said, "Yo," I say, "Uh, send me uh, I say, send me like fifteen to twenty dollars of my cash out, and I'll ride over his house right now." <laughs> so somebody put in the comment, "Man, you lying?" No, they said cap. That's what they put in there. They said cap. <laughs> I said, okay, all right, well, fuck it, then. I'm just going to ride over here, then. So the whole time when he was talking that shit, that's what I was trying to tell y'all. Like, he don't know that I know where he at. He don't know that. And he on the internet talking shit. I'm like, okay. I said, okay. I said, I'll tell you what. That's just like that day when, when, when his ass went live and, 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 and when he was in that goddamn, uh, when he was in that mall, I, I think it was Cumberland Mall. I can't think of the name of that shit, but I know where the fuck is at. That nigga was walking fast as a motherfucker. I said, "Oh, he at the damn, <laughs> he had, you know, you that you know, King World." I, I, I'm the type of child 
that that was in school i was the i was the child that was fascinated with puzzles that's that's who i am i'm the type of motherfucker to look at a puzzle and be like okay that go right there that go right there that go right there that go right there i do puzzles like faster than the motherfucker so i if i see some shit i don't forget it ask god if she'll tell you we could be driving i'll be like damn boy this looks just like over there and such and such the way the street made it she'll be like yeah do kind of i'm like no it's just this, this, these the same designs <laughs> this the same shit going on so probably on that side of town the same shit going on yeah they set it up like this yeah so i say yeah i just need to see a little piece of that thing or whatever that's how this just this, this a look and he knew that too he knew that that's why I'm like, I don't know what in the hell possessed. And then I think the whole time he was thinking that I stayed in Charlotte the whole time. I think that's what he was thinking. I think that's why he was talking like that. I think that's what he was probably saying. Like, yeah, he stayed in Charlotte or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause when I, when I first went, went to the spot, remember when I was on live and I kept saying, well, yo, I say, yo, I'm right here at the top golf and see people didn't know which top golf I was talking about. I was like, yeah, I'm right at the top golf. I'm right here by the QT. I say, yo, I say, I'm going to go to Walmart and get these boxing gloves and we're going to meet up and we can just box on live. You feel me? I'm like, we can just do it all. I was like, nigga, you can have the money, whatever. I'm like, I'm going to beat you up though, but we're going to box on live. And the nigga didn't want to do it. <laughs> I said, how long I sat in the car, y'all? I was in the car for six hours. Six, six hours. I was at the top golf, sitting there waiting. I was waiting for him to be like, okay, all right, well then let's do it. Cause he didn't think that I knew where he was at. And the whole damn time, I went nowhere but just right up the damn street. The whole damn time. And and like I said, I ain't from Georgia, so I'm from the country. So right up the goddamn street to me is in Gwinnett, goddamn. And that ain't no hop, skip, and a jump to where the hell he stayed at. Cause I didn't even know that shit was even called Decatur. You feel me? I had been done turned on that street before. I'm like, I turned on that street one time. I missed my turn. The motherfucker wouldn't let me over. And that's why I had to get off of that X. And then when I got off, I seen how the shit was looking. I was like, what the fuck kind of part of town is this? I was like, this shit crazy. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that was the whole trip shit with the... And I seen when he was in the car with the girl when he was driving, and I was like, oh, okay, so he's still over there to get there. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to see if he was going to be a man and stand on that shit. That's all I wanted to see. It didn't have nothing to do with no fight, and it didn't have nothing to do with, with any altercations whatsoever. I just wanted to see if he was going to tell me to my face why he put my damn name on that shooting? Well, matter of fact, why why Aaron ass put my name on that motherfucking shooting range target? I just wanted to see if he was gonna stand on that. That's all. I just want to see. Now if he would have started laughing and joking or something like that or whatever. I would have took it just as that. Just I would have took it just as that. But we we wasn't gonna get past that. Uh uh. We 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 were gonna have to establish that first. We we're gonna have to establish. What you did and you knew that that was wrong, that was disrespectful. You made a threat against my life on the Internet. You shot at the target, which mean that you shot at me. I just want to know what made you feel like you could do that. Yeah, I didn't come over there. His sister in the comments, she had t I didn't come over there with no army. I came over there with me and Goddess. And if we would have had cash, his ass would have been in the car then. That's how real it is. I'm telling you that. It wasn't no nothing with that. Didn't nobody go over there with no group of people or none of that. Yeah, and and at the time, hell, it probably was about six able-bodied men that was in the house, and ain't none of them come out. I ain't see Juju punk ass. I didn't see Jack's lame ass. What you seen was them at the damn courthouse talking. That's what you seen. That's all you seen. The person that dislike nature boy the most was in their face and they didn't do nothing that's why i can't man one of you punk ass niggas come over to my channel and say nothing if you support nature boy because you wasn't there you wasn't there you could have you could have beat me up you could have said i'm a bitch you could have said all that shit to my face but you did you did mm -mm. i want to respect y'all i want to respect you niggas Y'all had all that stuff to say about the three God. Now you ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got nothing to say. Let it let it have been two weeks ago. 
the niggas was scheduling goddamn niggas was scheduling consecutive back-to-back -back motherfucking interviews with people that hadn't even been in the damn cult for over damn five years all of this shit was going on now it's crickets it's crickets now so so it is three guard gone it's crickets ain't it huh uh it's crickets now ain't it uh oh yeah yeah that it, hey it is what it is it, it is what it is yeah it was just me and her that was it i just wanted to see i wanted to see like what it was gonna be you know what i'm saying and it, it wasn't nothing it was any any show after that that nigga move he was moving scary as hell he was moving scary and then the funny thing about the shit i'm like okay so you just whole life y'all having parties and shit in the backyard and you don't even know where the hell you at. You you think because you in that little damn cul-de-sac. Yeah, you feel me? Like, you you think you somewhere. I'm like, bro, you ain't nowhere but that damn open world. Like, what the fuck is... I'm like, bro, you is playing around. Yeah, you are playing like you got a coat over here in this man's house that you over here renting and shit. Yeah, I just wanted to see, man, because I knew all that internet shit was cap anyway. Mm-hmm. I knew it was cap, but to the people that he sold that fucking lie to, I wanted them to see that. I was gonna put it, I was gonna put it in his face, straight up. He didn't he, did, he didn't want the internet to see that. Nah, he ain't, he ain't want them to see that. He he uh-uh, hell no. He didn't say nothing about that. He didn't go live and say nothing about that. He didn't say a oh, world came over my house. He didn't say that. That nigga went live and said all kind of shit about it, about shit that ain't mean shit, right? He ain't talking about that, did he? He talked about everything else, what he going to do, and oh, real niggas this, real niggas that, and uh, uh, yeah, where I'm from. The, man, look here. Whenever some shit happened and you hear a motherfucker talking about, I'm from, I'm from here, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from California, I'm from Florida, oh, oh, yeah, 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 I'm from Detroit. Man, they full of shit. It don't make a fuck where you from. Don't none of that shit mean nothing. That's that's a that's a hype man. That's a hype man motherfucking excuse. That's what that is. <laughs> I'm from I'm from such and such, and we man, that shit don't mean nothing. That shit don't mean nothing. Anybody get their ass whooped? You feel me? <laughs> that shit don't mean that. I be hearing motherfuckers say that all the time. Yeah, cause yeah, cause I'm from yeah, I'm from Louisiana, and we man, shit, this motherfucker get their ass whooped in Louisiana too. What the fuck that mean? Yeah, then you having pride and shit. Where you from? We from this country. That's where the fuck we from. <laughs> you just stay in them areas and shit. You take them. You got pride over some, them people there in that state. Don't even give a fuck about you no damn way. Yeah, you should be talking about on the strength of where you from. Like that's supposed to do something. That's supposed to scare a motherfucker because yeah, 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 yeah. I'm from Jersey. My, I don't give a fuck where you from. Man, <laughs> what the fuck that be? Because <laughs> you from Jersey or from wherever. I don't give a fuck. It's going to be the same mentality wherever that I'm at. And that's one of the main things that I want people to keep. Keep the same mentality when it comes to the co-affiliated, co-oriented people and put that gas to their ass and tell them to come out here and talk about the real shit. Talk about the real shit. If you don't do nothing else, talk about that. Okay? And if you don't, see or hear anything or mention about that interview with nature boy's sister you already know a motherfucker channel is certified cat okay it's certified cat mm -mm. that's all they were gonna do and 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 then and then god is what's so crazy you remember you remember when i had went live and i told them niggas I told him, I told him, I'm like, man, you, man, you already know what the fuck that, that's a whole, and, 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 and Kulu had exposed that shit, damn near, we was talking about Pharaoh then, about damn fucking 20 months before that, and I'm like, man, so you think a motherfucker believe that that plastic ass gun real? Like, are you serious? Like, like, or do you got them believing that shit? Because I don't believe none of that shit. And even if the motherfucker was real, that's it. That's like when, uh, when I went over there on Bigo and talked to True, he was talking about, yeah, you was right. That gun was, nigga, you ain't got to tell me it was fake because I already know it is. Yeah, nigga, you the fuck? I weigh 183 pounds, nigga. You look like you wear 153 pounds, so you definitely wasn't moving the way you was moving with no real gun like that. 
unless you had on some fucking spandex or damn yeah, you had on some super tidy whiteies on or something. That's the only way. Yeah, man, I've man, I been in the street, man. <laughs> you feel me? You ain't that ain't no way in the hell, man. That motherfucker's supposed to have some more weight to that shit than that. You, hear? <laughs> you can't just be moving around like that now. Come on now. What you got? One of them, one of them brand new, uh, one of them damn brand new uh, belt holsters. Yeah, you got one of them motherfuckers or something. Because if you don't, then you can't move like that. You got to have them, man, I'm telling you, man. Niggas down, yo, they be in the hood. They be wearing their pants like how I wear my pants, but they be they be having on hoochie daddies. They be having on hoochie daddies, and the hoochie daddy will be holding the pistol. That They be wearing them tight-ass shorts and shit. Yeah. Y'all seen this dude one day, man. I would ride past the damn, what I forgot what that shit called. It's like a, a sports authority or some shit like that. And the dude was coming up out of there. I would drive and I look. I said, that's the stand now, man. That joker had on some spandex with the shorts on on that motherfucker. I said, what the fuck going on? That nigga had on the spandex with the shorts. I said, yo, they done made that shit cool. Boy. I said, boy, this summer going to be some bullshit right here, bro. <laughs> Like, how you put some spandex on and goddamn, you feel me? And you got the hoochie daddies on. Yeah, with a little with a little shirt on and shit. I'm like, why you just, why you, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like, man, these niggas better not start wearing them, man. Them, like, them floral flower printed motherfucking tights and shit. Yeah, man, they do, man. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, man, I'm going to get on some Mr. T shit out this motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to take it to the wife beater with about 90 chains on, nigga. I got to show these niggas. We masculine out here. We ain't divine feminine. We ain't none of that shit right there. Like, hell no. Yeah, niggas got to eat they weedies. Niggas got to watch Rambo. They got to go throw the football. They got to play throw up tackle. They got to do something, goddamn. Because I'm telling you, man, these niggas are soft. Man, they're going to act a fool. You hear me? They're going to they gonna cut up this summer, yo. I'm telling you, man. And then, for the record, and I'm saying this. I done said it before, and I'm saying it again. And I, I'm just getting so upset, man, with seeing these skinny-ass girls with these goddamn oversized jogging pants on. Them motherfuckers be like a size 3X, and they be like 110 pounds soaking. That is the weirdest shit in the world. I don't even understand that, man. If you just don't want nobody to look at you and shit, just wear some normal shit. But them big ass jogging pants don't make no sense, man. This girl had on a whole jogging suit, man. That jogging suit, man. That thing would have been baggy on me. She had that thing on. I said, "What the world?" I said, "Had some flip flops on, like some little slides on, standing in the store at the cash." But I'm like, "Man, this shit crazy." I'm like, what the fuck going on? Why do women want to be men and the men want to be the what? I'm like, what the? I'm like, man, this ain't right, man. I'm sitting all this shit, the styles coming back in and shit. I'm waiting on niggas to get totally crossed out. I'm waiting on y'all niggas to turn your clothes backwards and stuff. And I'm going to get in where I fit in because I'm definitely turning my shit. I'm rocking my shit because I was repping the Daddy Mac back in the day. Scrape like that. I'm shit. I'm gonna turn my yeah, who warm it up, Chris. I'm on them niggas' ass. Yeah, niggas start wearing felines with the straps. I'm on y'all niggas' ass. That's my error. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, now nah, y'all ain't gonna play me and try to outdo me with y'all shit. I, I seen this shit, yo. Look, I, I, I gotta see if I got this shit on my top. Anyway, somebody made a post. It was somebody mama, and uh, they were saying that uh. They son had bought some uh, Balenciaga shoes and shit. Here you go, right? Let me show you this shit, man. Matter of fact, it's a student. That's what it. Let me show you this shit right here. And for everybody that's over the age of 40 years old, put in the comments what kind of shoes when we grew up that these were called right here. But this is what they paying $1,000 for right here. Look. Look at this shit. This is what y'all be rocking. Oh. This is what y'all be rocking. Oh. What shoes are these, y'all? From the late nineties, they came out. Let me see who's gonna get it right. Let me see who's in them streets. 
Thank you. Thank 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 you, Barbie. Straight like that. Them ain't nothing but some LA years. Those are LA years. That's what those are. Straight up. And the and the and the and the, and the British nights was funky because I had several. Matter of fact, I stopped. Look at here, yo. I stopped rocking the uh, British Knights because I started rocking the Deodoras. I started rocking the, yeah, straight up. And then after the deal, I stopped wearing the Deodoras because of the Lottos came out. And the Lottos had the strap on the motherfuckers. I had the white ones. Man, I had mad straps on them shit. I had the white one. I had the red, blue. I had the, I even had got, the, I ordered the gold out the East Bay magazine. I was rocking the motherfuckers to school and they was hating on me. Yeah, see, if they take it back to that style, I'm going all the way in on these niggas. Yeah, I'm going all the way in. That's all they doing is shitting people up out their money. Them is straight L.A. gears. That's what they are. Yeah, and, and see, that's what I'm saying about the ages now, you know, and how they appropriate and stuff now. I even, Let me see if I got this on my TikTok. I think I just seen this shit earlier, too. Yeah, because somebody had uh, made a post and they just was talking about the shoes. And it's crazy because they sitting up thinking that the shoes are some other kind of shoes, but they really air hurachis. So I'm in the comments like these are air hurachis. They were saying they was Kobe Bryant shoes or something. I'm like, man, them ain't no damn. Them is air hurachis. The motherfucker came out in 1993. Nigga, I worked at Foot Locker in the mall. I'm like, look, bro, <laughs> them ain't no damn Kobe. Them, them is hurachis. That's what those are called. Those are hurachis. The, the mid-top hurachis. Yeah, I was in the comments going in on them. Yeah, trying to tell them, like, man, do your do your footwork, homework, man. Yeah, you going crazy. They don't be knowing what the Stan Smiths is or none of that stuff, man. They just be jumping on styles because somebody, yeah, rock some shit on the internet. Now they got cubs out here with the, uh, I ain't, I ain't fresh. I'm like, cubs wearing the same shit I've been wearing. What the fuck? <laughs> Talking about I ain't fresh. <laughs> I ain't never worried about if I was fresh or not. That nigga say I ain't fresh. Huh? Man, I'm telling you, it's weird. It's weird. When they when they appropriated Air Force Ones back in motherfucking 1995, the first time I ever seen some ones. Yeah, I think it no matter of fact, it was 92. Yeah, because Dwight came out, Gangstar. And I thought then I was like, yo, that's the ugliest fucking shoe. Yeah, because it was the it was the high top. It wasn't the mid top. It was the high tops. And I was hating on them because I had the felines with the strap. You feel what I'm saying? But over the years, you know, they was able, you know, to make that shit cool or whatever. You know, everybody start, you know, take part in rocking them or whatever. Man, let me tell let me tell you, man, there's people in other countries like it's Asians in other countries. They, they look, they foot game be more on point than what I shit do. Yeah, they shit be lit. They get all the exclusives in Asia. Yeah, I don't know. I think they get first dibs on the factory or something. I don't know. I know it's one of them that's over there anyway. Yeah, what up in Afghanistan or something that well over there, Middle East. But yeah, though, man, it's 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 crazy though. See y'all hey, look here, y'all done went y'all y'all done start shoe reminiscing. This shit crazy. Um uh, you rocking Dr. Souls. Oh, not the Dr. Souls, bro. <laughs> Blue, not the Dr. Souls. Come on, man. I'm gonna tell you about the Dr. Souls, man. Them Dr. Souls is the shoes they get you in prison. Like if you got like 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 club foot, like he gonna have Dr. Souls. Yeah, cause they like the soft bottom shoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I knew it was an issue with him. I knew he had issues with his blood pressure too, as opposed to trying to have them people eating that B6 diet. I knew he had issue with his blood pressure because the way how his feet was. And shit swell up and stuff like that. That's why you get those salt butter. I know. I already did. Like I told y'all before he went there, he going to have to eat that bland diet, too. He got to eat a bland diet. Yeah. Uh, Diane, no, you didn't hit him with that Bob Barker. You know the Bob Barker is the author of them, all them janks. Yeah, Diane on dick. 
You say you try, he trying to convince you to take, to, ain't no way. Yeah, he, man, but that man, hey, look here, man, he was going crazy. He was going crazy over the motherfucking air. Let me see. <laughs> Let me go to this shit where that nigga got them shoes. <laughs> that nigga, that's cool. That nigga went straight to the Air Max. That nigga was on the internet. He 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 he, he was expected for them to buy him some shoes. He went in that mud. <laughs> he went in there and told a lie. That nigga had all that money and then playing like he was broke. Talking about some damn uh <laughs> gonna send me, yeah, these the ones I want right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These these the ones I want. <laughs> oh man. I might have to get in the archives, man, since it's so dumb, man, just so she can see some of this dumb ass shit, boy. That nigga, boy, I'm trying to teach. Oh, my God, boy. Hey, look, Clubfoot went crazy out this motherfucker, boy. <laughs> <laughs> then I might have to get in that video with them nigga with the Walmart and he ain't buy shit. Matter of fact, I need to get in it. I'm going to make a compilation video every time he went in the store and ain't buy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he was doing, man. Man, that shit was wild as hell, man. Like Clubfoot, like he was the worst when it came to that shit, man. Yeah, and then his wives and shit, they used to be happy and shit when they was going in the store. Yeah, they was thinking they were about to get an abundance of shit. That nigga talked that he talked them into a circle. He talked them into a circle with no protractor. No protractor talked them in a circle and dipped on they motherfucking ass. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's all right, let's go. Let's be out. He go in the store acting like they his wives, and then he'll he'll bro them out and shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go, yo. Come on, yo, let's go. That nigga out there, he'll usher them up out of stuff. They <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, man, on this one video, man, you gotta see how Malia face, man, where she was looking, man. Because he had told him some shit like he was going to buy him some dresses or some shit or whatever. Man, they went in that motherfucking store, man. Hey, look, they went in that. Uh, and then, hold on, because the sister there now. I'm just going to show you this, but this is what I'm talking about right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put you up on game, because I know you remember this day right here, just so you can see that I don't be capping. You hear me? I don't be capping now. I don't be capping. See what I'm saying? I told him, I said, I don't be capping. A lot of times I just got to go through my files to be able to pull them damn videos up. But yeah, I ain't capping because with them roundabout dates and shit, I'm telling you, boy, I've been reporting like a motherfucker for years at this moment. You have, yeah, boy, I had, look here, man. I, I, I think I had Club for so scared one time, man. I think that nigga was even, I think he was even scared to look at his self facing camera, man. That nigga was scared as hell. Yeah, man, just think, man, if somebody put your name on the shooting range, talk, you know what extent you got to take it to him. And I always thought he was a damn joke any damn well. That's why I used to fuck with him like that. He's just the scariest motherfucker I'd have never seen, boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. I used to just laugh at his ass, man, because he'll try to get online and tell a lie and shit. That nigga try to lie. Yeah, he try to get on there and lie and shit. Find me now. Find me now, then, nigga. Find me now. He said, what happened to that girl in the middle? Anybody know what girl? See, I don't, that was a video. It wasn't a picture. Yeah, and I'm scrolling now, so I can't. I ain't going back. I, I think I'm on 160-something now. Hold on. Yeah, now, nah, if I keep now, nah, hell no. I can't turn back now. I'm all the way in there. I'm looking for that damn video now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm looking for that video when they was in that damn stove. Hold on, is this the other one? Now, I think this one, they might. Did they go out then? Hold on. Oh, yeah, they went out then. And then he never took them into the damn store, though. That nigga, how much, this nigga was just walking around and shit. <laughs> oh, he talking about LaDonna. La, LaDonna is, um, LaDonna is, is in uh, Atlanta. Yeah, she was she was in Atlanta. Yeah, she's still on deck. She's still on deck. 
And that's another damn thing, too, that I meant to ask you, too. Like, what was that day like when she left? Yeah, I just want to know, like, how did how did all of that right there happen? Okay, that's them in the backyard. I'm getting close now. Okay, that's when he was doing that other lame man shit. Hold on, I'm I'm deep in the matrix now. I'm all the way in the matrix now. Hold on, I should be getting close. Okay, that was him. With see, I didn't even know he went live that many times with that damn uh, with that with that fake Amazon headdress on like that either. That's crazy. Yeah, I ain't even know it was that many videos. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do a refiling on all this shit. Hold up, let me check the other file. Let me go. Let me go back through here. Let me see. Yeah, cause I just I just want y'all to see when he went up in that damn spot, the way that he was looking, and then when he had went in the spot when he was buying them clothes. You remember when he went in there when he had them shades on? He had them Jim Jones shades on, and he would dress like the highest. He had on all white, like the highest. That's the one I need the motherfucker find when he was looking like the highest when he went in that motherfucker. But, but you couldn't tell, man, you couldn't tell him shit. Man, man, that man, man, I'm talking about in that mall, man, I know he was in there looking crazy. They was at my, what you call this shit? Uh, that damn, uh, that damn mall off uh, Old National Highway. That's where they was at. He was walking around. He was walking around in there, like he was in the mall of Georgia and shit. He walking around in that motherfucker. I'm like, bro, what the hell is you? And they don't know where the hell they at. They just in there, like, yeah, like it's some major shit going on or whatever. I'm like, you is in a flea market mall with four women. In a flea market mall. What the hell? Man, you got to go to the flea market with your woman. You just go in there. You know, you might see a knickknack, a paddy whack. You might want to buy whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's a little something, something or whatever. But you ain't going there shopping and shit. Like, he was going, that motherfucker, like, he was going to go buy some royal garbs that was imported from fucking Saudi Arabia and shit or whatever. That's how he was in that month. I'm like, that, 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 man, that nigga crazy, ain't eh? Yeah, just walking all around there. Man, Nature Boy was gone, man. He was gone, man. Team, man, he was gone. And you know how many damn videos I got. So, hell, I might not be able to find this motherfucker not good. Get him, man. But, yeah, that nigga was gone, man. I mean, he was thrown out. Then I and them, they, they, they was in there walking around and shit, man. They, then when they went in that one store, oh, my God. Man, I got to find this shit. Man, when they, man, when they went in that one store, man, I hit, I hit the women. I think I done found the fire. Man, when they went in that motherfucking store, man, they were walking around. Man, that man looked at Nature Boy like, what kind of? He was like, what the? I, the dude in the store was like, damn, so people actually wear this stuff? This bullshit I'm selling. Man, he was looking at him. He was like, okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, uh, uh, 60 was in that motherfucker, man. 60 was in that motherfucker. He had a, he had a, uh, he had a chew stick in his mouth in that motherfucker. That, that nigga had a chew stick up in that mug, man. Yeah, like a, a, a it's supposed to have been like an Islamic miswalk. Hold on. Okay, here you go. When they went up in there, when he was looking, hold on, let me get it. As soon as he go up in there, man, this shit right here. Hold on, let me get it. As soon as they walk in the mall, I was laughing when I seen this. I'm like, man, this nigga, done, he done came through the little exit. He done came through the little side, little exit. He done walked up in that mud, man. <laughs> look, he, look, he walked up in there like, he was he like he was from the Middle East. <laughs> he was from the Middle East. <laughs> he was in that motherfucker, man. Man, come on, man. Hey, look at him, boy. This nigga here is something special. Do you hear me, boy? God damn, boy. <laughs> So, so your date determines 
your day is determined on what you pay attention to, what you focus on. Because it's going to be negative shit that happened, but you just keep it fucking moving and ignore that shit. And then when you pay attention to the positive, the positive will pay attention to you. What's going on? Come on, y'all. Open the door. Man. Oh, man, crazy, man. They got everything here. They definitely might have that here. Florida water here. That's where you can get the fabrics. Good fabrics. My folks be going through extra moods for nothing, man. On top of that shit. Hey, cool little foot. Uh, Shiki's. Show me. This is something nice for you, like these type. Oh, yeah, like this is nice right here. I like that like with the that? pants. I, I like yeah, this is really nice. What time is this house? That's small. That might be my motherfucking size right here. Yeah, this is 2X. Double X. Look at it. Right here. These. <laughs> this is my whole swag right here. Yeah, double X. Right this here. is swag. This is what yeah, we wear. This is nice. What's the tag on it? Oh, this blue is nice. Ooh, I like that blue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we on a box. Hey, I appreciate that. Oh, that's nice, too. Oh, wow, look at that. This one has white horses. There's some low top horses, but it's an arc. It's my whole swag. Feel me? I brought one of them. Which one? The black one? Yeah. I bought one right now. You want to get this one out? Oh my gosh. Y'all like this one? We can get some like colors for me. I like to be bright. The black at night is always going to be dope. They they knew he was black. Look, they knew he was broke as hell, yo. Look, I'm talking about you in the flea market asking how much that it costs. What the fuck? I'm telling you, man, this dude, man, I used to holler. I used to fucking holler. They were mad at this shit. They were mad because I was over there tripping out to me. He was doing it. I ain't do this. I ain't going to the store and do no weird shit like this. He did this. Man, he did it, man. He knew he wasn't going to buy, look, he knew he wasn't going to buy a damn thing up in that motherfucker, man. And, and, and later, like I say, I, I'll definitely put all these videos together just so y'all can trip off this shit. But the other video where he took their ass in that store and they bomb shit, man. <laughs> that shit was, man, that was horrible, man. I feel sorry for him, man. I was like, damn, Malia really wanted that dress, man. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Damn, Poppy, it's my money anyway. I can't buy it." And my, and that's that's what I interpret this. She said she ain't say that, but that's how I interpret. I say, "What the hell, man? That dude is down low, man. You hear me? Sixty don't give a fuck, man. He was crushing their dreams, man. She wanted that dress so bad, man. That dress probably cost four dollars and ninety nine cents, man. That was some of the cheapest of the L cheapo motherfucker fabric, yeah." She was going crazy. Look at the ceiling in that motherfucker. Man, no, we ain't doing no business, man. We ain't doing no business, man. Mm -mm. I ain't fucking with it. Nah. We ain't moving like that, Jack. Nah. I don't care what you're selling. <laughs>
I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah, I don't want no 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 vacations, and no, I don't want no no vacations. I don't want none of that shit. I'm good. I'm leaving all that shit there. You got four. They had four wine. That nigga's supposed to be like mad bags and everything. That nigga's supposed to be strapped with bags in both arms and shit. Yeah, four women. He's supposed to have at least about a good eight to ten bit eggs just walking up out of there like a whole boss. He got the boss hog shades on. Man, he was a man looking crazy. You got them four women follow you. They ain't got not one bag in there. They ain't even got the small little bag, the little black bag that's sold at every hood store to conceal all the other stuff in the store they sell it and don't supposed to. He ain't got one of them. And that's the kind of stove for it. Man, they buy the motherfuckers in both. Yeah, and, and bit old. No, no. That's why I'm telling you, man. He didn't he didn't fit the bill. Okay. You never would have seen Jim Jones doing no shit like this. He never, man, ain't no way they had Charles Manson would have walked up in no goddamn stuff. <laughs> Charles <laughs> Manson. <laughs> Walk up in the store and shit. <laughs> yeah, with his wives and shit, you know. <laughs> Playing, look at him studying about the, asking about the damn price or something in the damn flea market. You think Charles Manson would have did man? Hell no. And Charles Manson would have bought a whole store. <laughs> Or put a knife to the damn throat. One, it would have been some shit, man. He wasn't supposed to be moving like this. See, when he went to Atlanta, he lost his mind. See, he 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 he, he, he wanted to live that lifestyle like he was mafioso. He, he got the women opening the door for him and stuff. Like he, yeah, I don't know what the fuck. And then he know other women had to have seen that and what they could have thought about him and how terrible and horrible of a person that he was to do that to a woman. Talking about open the door, yo, hurry up. Open the door, yo, hurry up. Like, what the? And you wonder why he got a life sentence. You wonder, mm, this how shit like this is. Yeah, like he owned the shit. My stuff right here. This is I like the way oh, the shirt like is curved at the bottom. Peach. Peach is nice. Made in Ghana. I like this one and this one. Look at her head. Look at her head. Look at her head. She look like she's six years old and been outside playing on her knees ashy. Yeah, her knees ashy and her shirt dirty. Her elbows ashy too. She been playing. They've been do, probably making mud pies. Yeah, and had got finished playing hopscotch. And her knees got real ashy and stuff. Yeah, because they, you know, had been in the grass and, and other stuff too. That's what her hair looked like. And adult. He had them women out there in the, in the store like that. That's why I'm telling you, it's a damn shame, man. Huh? Yeah, I like this one and this one. Mm -hmm. Where, where's the moon at? No. That could be nice. Oh, wow. And yeah, the Wi Fi was hit. Just because he up in that spot, I'm going to skim through just a little bit of it anyway. But yeah, the Wi Fi was, it was, it was extra motherfucking hit. There you go. See there? Look at that. Just like the highest. Tell me if that ain't no shirt like the highest had on. Is that not the highest? Hold on, uh -uh. no, 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 that is the highest. I'm telling you, scray like that. Yeah, the highest had the same shit. Let me show you the highest. Look here, this, 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 this is when the highest was was given a prophecy. Yeah, when he was given a prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga in a shirt like the highest. I'm telling you, man, that's his favorite shirt, boy. The highest, boy. I'm, man, I'm telling you, man. Man, it's, it's various shots of the highest, man. He rocked that motherfucker right there, boy. I think he be rocking that motherfucker in real life. <laughs> if I see this nigga grow anywhere, I'm going to say the highest. Well, as soon as I see him, boy. <laughs>
<laughs> That's him, I'm telling you. He even got one that buttoned up around the neck like that, too. The same shit. That's the style. That's why that way he went in the store. He said, that's my swag. That's the highest swag. See, Mike Brown knew that's what he liked. That's why the highest had that shit on on Ruthless. Yeah. Mike Brown, he knew. Mike Brown told him. And see, Tyler Perry, he just switched a little bit of it up. That's all that is. He had to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Because see, if Nature Boy would have been, Nature Boy would have been smart enough, he could have then filed a lawsuit against his motherfucking ass based off of legitimate, substantial evidence that there was, in fact, a smidget of plagiarism that took place. I'm here to tell you now. Uh, and then they go on the vacation, but you know, you know. Always shop at the store. They, 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 they don't listen to me. I can be talking for hours. They, they don't even listen. It's all good. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Because I blank out and be playing music. Yeah, you, man, world ain't live. I be sitting here playing music. I'm going in. I'll be live in real life. You hear? won't even worry about it. This is why I came back to Atlanta. Uh, so simple. I wanted some colors, like pop out colors. That's what that's that was the, whatever looked good with my skin. Not this one. Nice. Does this match with that hat? I think that I'll just say you didn't. Well, I doesn't match with that. See that. Did you see that? Did you see? Look at here. They got some shit hung up on the damn duck vent. You hear me? For this shit, right? Yeah, nah, man. I think that I'm saying that. Nah. Nope. Doesn't match with that hat. See, they tried to get Papa John to wear that hat. <laughs> Papa John said, nah, they ain't gonna match. Nope. No. Look at the jewels. Is them real dark? Look. Look how that chain shining. You see, look at that. God dang. Man, when he walked in that mall, everybody in there knew that motherfucker was fake. <laughs> man, let me tell you, boy. If you any let me tell you, man. If you on old national highway and you got a chain on that size right there. Man, let me tell you, if you ain't, let me look at him, man. If you ain't getting out a, 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 a damn 2029 Land Rover, man, you ain't supposed to have that motherfucker on. That motherfucker got to be triple black. That motherfucker got to be, that, hey, look at him, the, 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 it got to be three tone, like used tires. That motherfucker got to be black. That motherfucker, everything got to be, even the guy that, you hear me? Even the lights black. You hear me? Even the light that shine black. I'm talking. You hear me? You got to be on dick, on ear level. That yeah, you wear shoes one time when you put your feet in them. When you take them off, that's the only time you wear. Them. That's the only time you moving like that. Not like the sixty. You can't be doing that. Now you can't be doing that, man. No, man. Touching on them people garments and shit in the whole nine up. And them people probably be like, man, this dude's full of shit. Yeah, this dude's full of shit. You, you supposed to go in that motherfucker. Hey, yo, uh, what, what you would do for this or what you would do for that type of shit? That's the type of spot that is. That ain't no spot you go in there talking about. Yeah, 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 this will look good on me type of shit. You trying to get that shit and, and, and keep it moving. You just want to have some shit in the bag so somebody see you. You got something in the bag. You know, you got to have something in the bag. I don't care if you buy a t-shirt today, but nine ninety nine. Just have something in the bag. Just have, have something going for yourself. Just something in the bag. It, it make you feel better when you're in the mall and you're walking and you got something in the bag. You don't want to be a grown ass man in the mall walking around with nothing in the damn bag. You know why? Because all the little all the little children gonna know that you're broke. They gonna know that you're broke. Cause you ain't getting no game card. You ain't getting nothing for nobody. They already know they can't get nothing for you. Ain't getting nothing from the convenience store, nigga. You ain't getting nothing. They know that you broke. Number one off the gate, all children. Anyway, I don't care if they two and a half. Get ready to be three. They be sizing you up from your shoes anyway. Yeah, that's how I tell you, you was hit. You went back. You went to the it ain't. You went to the it ain't, huh? Oh, you forever. I love her. Man, you went back to the feet bro, with that shit. Man, you know you supposed to be on deck. 
Yeah. So now, oh, not shout it low. Motherfucking bankroll, fresh, man. You can't be. That's why I'm telling you, man. He he set them up for a dummy mission. He was out there embarrassing them people. That's what the hell he was doing. I'm trying to told you. Who? Psh, man, look at here, boy. You can be anywhere in the A. I don't give a fuck if it's the most rundown store in the world. Man, it can be. Look at here. Let, let, let me tell you. Let, 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 let. Well, you better be on deck. Because if not, but they're going to do a pew. They're going to do a pew. You're going to get, you'll be on peon status. You hear me? Yeah, you got, man, you got to be chilling all the time, man. You can't be moving like that. He was a fake Arabian, a fake Arabian in a store playing like he going to buy, yeah, some damn $4.99 garments and shit, man. Like, look at this shit, man. Doesn't match with that You gotta make sure it's my it's my size. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. We can come back here because I, I got we gotta go. We gotta go see the house. See, I told. We'll come back. Look, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go see the house. <laughs> that nigga say, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta make sure that fit me. Oh, yo, we gotta go. <laughs> Man, look at here, man. I don't even go to the store. I left. When I go to the store, I know what I'm going to get out the store. It got us to tell you it takes me exactly two minutes and two seconds to go with any store. Any store, unless I'm shopping with her. Other than that, man, I can go get 15 items in under five minutes. I already know what I want. Ain't no nothing. I ain't no browsing, nigga. No none of that. That's how they know you ain't got no money. Just go get the shit. Don't worry about what it costs. Just pay for it when you get it to cash rhythm. Just get it. That's all right. I'm just fuck it. I mean, what the fuck. You sit up there asking the people how much it. What the fuck you mean? How much it costs? What you mean? How much it costs? If you're going in the store, you're going to buy the shit. It don't make a fuck what it costs. You supposed to have enough money to get whatever that's in the store. Every time, what you gonna walk in a convenience store? You ain't got enough money. Oh well, uh, I was gonna get twenty dollars worth of gas, but uh, can I just pay you eighteen dollars and twenty five cents? Cause I wanted to get a soda. What kind of shit is this? What kind of shit? You spot anything you want in the convenience store? You supposed to have enough money in your pocket to get what's in that damn convenience store. The same way in this damn swap meet as old National Highway Mall. He is playing. Talking about something. He got to go. They got to go see the house. You can come back here because I, I got. We got to go. We got to go see the house. We'll come back. You do. He talking about. I know where to find it too. It's right here. Like it's just gonna be in the store. You know, man. That man ain't go back to that damn store. You hear me? Because I, I got. We got to go. We got to go see the house. We'll come back. Uh, no, no, no. They, they, they ain't talking about Baba Doodoo. No, no. They, they ain't talking about Baba Doodoo. I'm the same person that been talking about this weak ass nigga. Okay, so no, 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 no. See, that's how you get a a a, a quick exit from the live chat. See, you could have came over here and, and, and been a good troll nigga and, and and just really told us how much that you was fully engaged in what the fuck was being shown over here right now. That was you could have did. See, now you done got kicked the fuck out. Yeah, you done got kicked the fuck out. Now, now you got to talk shit and we can't see it. <laughs> that, that, that That's where you at in this world now. These are wraps. Head wraps. For your head. Oh, look, it's on the cover, so we can match you up. Yeah, we'll get back. We'll come back, yeah, we'll come back. We can match you up, yeah, we'll get back. We'll come back, yeah, we'll come back. They got all the oils here, too. Back. They got all the oils here, too. Say that again? Oh, y'all didn't get the other burner? We did. Oh, y'all did? Okay. Oh, you can give it to us, so that's good.
He didn't give it to you? The burner? Shades, y'all need some more shades. Yeah, man, if I took if I took goddess to that store right there, man, man, look at here. She ain't getting nothing up out that mug. You hear me? Nathan. Nathan. She ain't even gonna go in there. <laughs> and the only reason she gonna go in there because she gonna be in the talking shit at the breath talking about the highest. <laughs> she ain't getting nothing out that mug. <laughs> Look at them shades. <laughs> but somebody that been working in a in in a damn factory with half a roof putting them up <laughs> together. <laughs> They've been popping them, popping out the circles in the middle of the lenses of the muscles sitting up with the muscles hit the back of their neck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, man, I ain't man, I ain't gonna hold you, boy. They, they motherfucking crazy, bro. Man, man, they ain't gonna man, hell no. They they ain't getting nothing up out of there. Uh-uh. No, no. Uh-uh. My friend said he got some shades for me. Yes, this is the only place we're gonna be coming. <laughs> Trying to tell you, this is gonna be it right there. Watch me get the crib. It right there. Watch me get the crib. Hmm? You like those? They got all the beautiful fabrics. You got the pants. Everything here. Y'all don't y'all get away from this area because we gotta go. I don't want the vacation. The thing is, so you get a word for it. Damn. Oh, what is this thing? A club for the book. Everything here. Y'all don't y'all get away from this area because we gotta go. <laughs> this is where you meet a good woman over here. And this store. Look at those bags. Caesar in there. That's what he was talking about. She was like, no. Look, look. And her right there with that with the red stuff in there. And she had the sexy red. <laughs> she like, she can't walk. <laughs> he talking about, do where you come to meet a good woman. <laughs> in the fucking flea market. Man, club foot, you done went crazy, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? Y'all gonna get married at a motherfucking pop-up shop made out of wood, chapels, what the fuck? Y'all might well got them go get married out there with Hansel and Gretel and then was out in the woods. <laughs> what the fuck? What y'all gonna have saves burning out there, motherfucker? Y'all gonna be standing on tapestries out there, motherfucker. <laughs> in a circle of crystals. <laughs> burning the motherfuckers out there talking about, oh, shit. That what you gonna be saying. Man, ain't no way, man, look at that boy. That woman like, man, she trying to get the hell away from that nigga, look. This is where you meet a good woman over there.
He kept on dipping out on that nigga ass. He like, hell no, I don't know what you got going on. You in here dressed like goddamn. <laughs> yeah, like your name, Ock Boss. <laughs> you don't get your ass on. Next tour. Look at those bags. <laughs> How you doing, Mama? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, they have most selection. Oh, the oxygen. You have oxygen. Yeah, most selection. The oil called oxygen. Oh, no. That's nigga coming there talking. He all trying to play it out talking about, uh, you got oxygen? You got oxygen? Man, look at here. I, it couldn't have, I couldn't have been the merchant. Because off the gate, I would have told Clubfoot and them that they got to step up to the front because they've been in the store too long. They they done been in there too long <laughs> and they undecided on what 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 they want to purchase. She got that big ass move ring on her dip. Man, I'd be like, man, y'all got to go. You got to go, Akba. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> Take your ass. I done told that nigga, man, ain't no magic carpets up in this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Nah, dog. Hey, this is throw down there, though. Know what I'm saying? But nah, we ain't got, we ain't got none of that up in here, dog. You know what yeah, what you were looking for, though? Nah, we ain't got that. You said oxygen. Nah, it's for my. It, shit, we all got there. We got oxygen. Huh? We breathing in this motherfucker. Like, I'd be like, man, hell no, man. He wasn't trying to buy nothing. He wasn't trying to buy nothing. I would have told Akbar to get his ass up out of there. I would have told him. Look, look, he's finally going to buy it. He's finally going to buy it. Yeah, you have it right here. Oxygen for men. Really? Why? It's a story we coming back to we get money. I think so too. I think so too, um, Whitney. And, and that's what I was getting to. Because it I mean the way they moving, it's like they've been in there too long. Like if this was a dollar general you know, or Dollar Tree or something like that. Yeah, they would have been made off by now, you know, with, with those uh, over to the extreme ass size clothes and stuff that they got on. Because even when you wear, when you don in those type of garments, them shit still don't supposed to be that big. And, and, and I know any woman can, can just look at them and be like, okay, y'all got to be wearing each other clothes because they ain't even fitting right in it. It ain't even hugging up off of them the right way. Like that shit Aya got on. Yeah, it looked like a a, a damn a square. You know how a kite made? It, it looked like she got a kite on. Yeah, like a kite. You know how, you know what I'm saying? How the sticks, how it point out in the shape. That's how, that's how, when she walked. That's what it looked like. So you know that ain't her clothes. That like somebody that when they got on some denim and, and, and then in the front when it when the denim be kind of dipped in and shit or what that that ain't that ain't they clothes they, they wear their brother clothes or something that ain't they shit you feel what i'm saying you can look and tell like that you know what i'm saying they had that shared clothes and shit he the only one in there looking like a, a, a cheap ass napkin from the hood store and shit you feel what i'm saying you know them cheap ass napkins them, them recycled fuckers them the fake ass napkins they got Man, you, you wipe your mouth with one of them motherfuckers, man. You got a whole trash can full of germs. You know them little old skinny ass napkins that we have? That motherfucker might well be a handkerchief. Now, I you one of them one time. It was like one of them brown, one of them brown napkins that, that be in the, in the gas station and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know them white napkins that got like a little crease down the middle of that motherfucker face. That's what his shirt looked like. I know that's Look at that fly. No, he was trying to smell this. 
feeling like could, you got to go ahead and buy that shit, man. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? You done been about 20 minutes, man. You got to go, man. She's, she's scared me. I already got that. You got the white blue? What's the white blue? Light blue. Light blue. Light blue. Is, it, is it good? Is it number one seller? Number one you like that? Uh, no, not really. What is this? Not really. What is this? You like that? Look, look at look at our shit standing up. Look, look, they straight from the jungle. They straight from the jungle. He had a mile with it like that. You feel? I be telling God, it's like, you, you you ain't gotta put on no clothes to go to Walmart. See, God is think when she go to Walmart, she going to Target. You dress different when you go to Target. If you go to Walmart, you can wear anything. It don't matter. But if you go to Target, you gotta be dressed to go to Target. If you're going to Target, it's like going to the club or a lounge or a bar for that matter, an event, school activity or function. But if you go to Walmart, you ain't got to be matching. When I go to Walmart, I be looking like I'm Punjabi. Yeah, white socks, goddamn Crocs, all type of shit. I'm, I don't be matching. None of the, you fit in. Like you can't. Like when you go to Walmart, you you don't supposed to be dressed up. You, you don't supposed to. It, it, it's too many colors in Walmart. You feel? You got to dress fucked up like that to fit in. Yeah, don't be trying to have your new shoes and shit on when you go to Walmart because you're going to stick out like a sort of, like people going to be looking at you like, oh, you think you better than, you know what I'm saying? You got to get on their level. You feel? See, just like he overdressed to go in this mall. He wasn't supposed to go in there like that. The only way that they could supposed to go in there like that, if he had on some gold shoes like Aladdin or some shit in that motherfucker, he's supposed, you feel? Yeah, he's supposed to be, that's how he, 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 he dressed like he's supposed to work in there. That I'm for real. That's how that's how he's supposed to be. Yeah, you don't go you don't go up in no mall win or stuff like that, man. Yeah, if you a boss like he was a cult leader, you supposed to not want to draw attention to yourself. You see what I'm saying? If 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 if, if I were club foot and I had four wives, I would have walked in that store by myself and I would have told each one of them women to walk in there. One by one, as if they didn't know me. Yeah, but he done, man. He, he just want to draw some attention. That's why I say that. Way, that's why he where he at right now because he can't think. He can't think. He wants attention. He will want everybody to look at him and shit. Yeah, be staring at him and shit the whole damn night. But they're gonna get mad when they put your ass on the news. Put your ass on the news up there and stuff. You feel some kind of way and you want to get out of jail. You ain't never had no goddamn bond and tried to get a bond. Fucking with that judge, pissing them folks off and carrying on. That's how it happened, the way it happened. Yeah, fucking around. Knowing you weren't going to buy nothing about it out there. So, just like you bought yourself into a world of fucking trouble that you were unable to get out of. And I'm going to say it again for the record. And this was your best idea. And God is saying, that she believed that nature boy ain't had nothing to do with this. She said that she think that the women did this just so they could try to chip off on that damn money. Like they were going to split the money up and stuff or whatever. And, you know, and if you believe that, if you agree with what God is saying, all I'm going to say is I don't know where they expect this under $2,000 to get them or how far that it's going to go. Because if that was the deal, you know, if that was their initial intentions, Man, I feel sorry for him, yo. But not sorry enough to help their ass, though. But I feel sorry for him, though. I really do. Yeah, I, I, I hate that uh, you all were not able to raise that $13,000 for Poppy. Yeah, but uh, I'm not going to help you. Y'all need help, for real. And the only help you're going to get is from your family. And that's with them getting your ass some damn way to stay. That's pretty much it. And that's what you all should be looking forward to right now. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff with Chief. Man, let let let, let Chief rest. Y'all already made a shrine of him. 
See, y'all made a shrine of him before before he even went to trial. Y'all already had a shrine. He should have knew that it was over for him. Yeah, a whole damn shrine. Don't do that man like that and then carrying on and then hooting the holler. Yeah, then then they ain't gonna expect for a different result, man. You know it wasn't gonna be no damn different result. It's about to get hot and everything. Y'all can't keep sitting up out there wearing them toboggans and carrying on the thing, hooting and hop. You can't do that. You got man, y'all gonna have to get prepared now. It's about to be summertime out here and everything. Yeah, y'all can't be living like this. Now you can't be living like this, man. Like for real, man. Y'all got to let that shit go. Yeah, let it go, man. Damn, look at Lil Russ. Lil Russ, oh, man. And, and look at Zocane. Man, this shit crazy. Look at Foo, man. <sighs> yeah, I think you might be right. That might be some motherfucking Onyx. Yeah, pick them up. Yeah, Onyx. Yeah, the last days and all that shit. Yeah, this day damn. It was their last days being with Poppy, but now it's over for Poppy. Yeah, that was that that was their motherfucking last fucking days. <laughs>